Today, the pilgrims of Satya arrive in Tigamura. It's about uh, late afternoon to mid-evening. And a populous, uh, Tigamura is a populous and hardy town, born from the kingdom's most prominent adventurer's guild. One that has provided not only protection and service to Tigamura and its people, but also to any of those traveling nearby. For even the outer edges of the Circa Forest are home to a myriad of wild beasts and monsters in peak power, thanks to the enhanced resources courtesy of Quarencia, the life tree. Just as it provides sustenance to civilization, it provides sustenance to the wild, untamed nature that surrounds it. Grander plants, a wider variety of food, stronger animals, and thus powerful, dangerous creatures become a natural part of the ecosystem the closer one gets to the tree. It makes one wonder, who besides those seeking true danger would want to live in a place flanked on one side by the creatures of the Circa Forest, and on the other, the blot ridden wastelands of Old Deosia? Perhaps we'll find out. <laughs> But yes, you arrive at the train station, and you get off the station along with the rest of your companions, the two horses, Butterscotch and Efficiency, as well as the engineer Byron, Jade, and El Coco. Uh, the two other engineers assisting Byron choose to stay inside the engine room to assess the damages. All the while, a bit of a crowd has surrounded the station, since this is the only time the train has ever been used since it was built. I'll move you over. You will find yourselves at the bottom right. Welcome Ooh. to Tigamura. Oh, it's so cozy. It's a it's, it look, it's like a cul-de-sac and a half. You yeah. know what it reminds me of? And this is really fucking vague. Terraria, <laughs> is it Terraria where you find the little like, is it Terraria or is it Starbound where you find the little like mini gnome villages? <laughs> oh, I don't what? know. Uh, probably Starbound. It reminds me of that panel game. Whatever, it's beautiful. It's adorable, nice. I love it. <laughs> a week well quick, spent. Quick question, is it the next day's worth of Butterscotch's Lego again? Uh, I would say one more, like, uh, kind of application of it, and Butterscotch yeah. should be back to full uh, okay. performance. We're on the same page, then. And she, as, as mentioned last session, she has taken quite a liking to you, thanks to your administrations. Yes, oh, that's right. Yes. Oh, that's so, adorable. Uh, so you may notice, I'll point this out for your benefit as well. You don't need to ask around where things are. Uh, the big building right here, right in front of the train that uh, the train is in threat of running over is the official building. You can see that the Alinthi sigil is uh, kind of on a flag out front on it. Mm -hmm. There is an alchemist's workshop here, a blacksmith here, uh, an enchanter oh, wow. here. Uh, the Ooh. Adventurer's Guild is this big building with the... Uh, kind of bulletin board here. There is a stable in which to uh, leave your horses and have someone take care of them. The yellow roofed building is the healer's hut. There's a market district over here where people are selling just various general goods. The largest building with the sort of neutral brown toned roof is the inn and tavern. Uh, over here to the left with the uh, kind of shield and sword uh, plaque is the uh, Alinthi official guard and this little building with the bell tower is their temple for general uh, god's worship, for no particular um, god specifically. And uh, over here, these various colorful buildings are the, is the residential district where the civilians of Tigamura uh, reside. This is didn't, so adorable. Didn't mention the graveyard that I see here. <laughs> well, it is a graveyard, you know. They gotta bury yeah. their dead somewhere. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But yes, um, you you get off the train and Byron actually walks up to you guys. Let me find his portrait in this. There he so is. So Byron walks up to you and uh, he looks a little beat up, but uh, he kind of walks up to you and extends a hand to whoever will take it. Probably Who's Fritz. take the hand? Me? Fritz. Okay, I guess I'll take the hand. You actually saved his life, so like. You took his hand. Oh, no. <laughs> I took his hand off, clean off. <laughs> Swipe. No. So he, he shakes a firm shake. Well, it's gonna be a bit before we can get this thing back to Politrios, and uh, we'll have to send out a recovery team to make sure that there's nothing left on the tracks for us to ram into. So it looks <coughs> like we got our work cut out for us, but either way, I can't express my thanks enough for saving my hide and my helpers. Yes, if you happen to find a cart in the, you know what, it's all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll make sure to salvage what we can. I mean, it's got to be on the rail somewhere. 
Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure it's fine. Um, I don't know if, about you guys, but I think I, I'm going to try to make this whole cart situation right. I mean, obviously, we're not going to find mm. the exact thing that we need. It's not going to be co the same, but hopefully somewhat comparable. So, is there someone we're... G we're gonna be checking in with, or uh, Jade walks up, and uh, oh, yes. as uh, Byron bids you, he goes back into the engine room, and I will say that he will be in town for the next couple of days as well, since okay. you know, like he said, he needs to recover the train. So if you need anything from him, uh, he will still be here. And uh, Jade walks up to you guys, and she kind of looks around and just like, mm, yeah. Yeah. There should be a lass, a elven lass with a blue hair to meet you in a little bit. This town isn't exactly under a lot of Alinthian jurisdiction. It's fairly independent and runs by itself. In fact, they don't even take a lot of coin here, just a lot of barter and trade. Oh. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Well, that's not to say coin can't be made. It's just maybe not as much as you might be used to. But it's a nice town, even besides that, and... You know, usually my favorite stop on my pilgrimages. In fact, I think I might go to the inn and get a drink. Yes, it's quite charming already. Yes. A drink? <laughs> <laughs> You're free to join me later if you'd like. And I also wanted to bring up one last thing before we depart for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Knowing what you know now, you know, the whole La Districtora thing, I... <laughs> personally was having a lot of fun, but understandable if you don't want to keep the act up. I just thought with with all the seriousness going on with your pilgrimage, it might be good to keep up the lighter mood and take your mind off things, but if you're not interested, that's totally understandable. I know not everyone's in the mood for, you know, Saturday morning hijinks and children's stories, but <laughs> the offer still stands. If you're saying that you want to take El Coco away from us, I won't <laughs> let you. Uh, El Coco well, is like staring at you, just like panting, just breathing in and out, tongue out, and wagging his tail profusely. I give him a small ration for my expensive horse treats. <laughs> he Before you, it's like even halfway to his face, he just hump his entire mouth over your hand, just hump. <gasps> Truly formidable. I try to keep a straight face as I slowly <laughs> rip it out of his drooling maw. <laughs> yeah, there's drool all over your hand. And he, he gives you a little lick on the cheek. He's, uh, he's perfect. Get the other side so you're symmetrical. <laughs> no. Um, pull out like a handkerchief and wipe it down. Jade kind of looks to you, take him away from you now. Oh. Well, I'll have you know that El Coco and I have been through more than I can even count. And if you want him to take him away from me, well, you're going to have to face a spear mightier than even La Distructora could wield. You're I out. support this. <laughs> she leans in. Is that a yes, then? It's a yes from me. Very well. I simply think it would be funny. She, All right. she puts her helmet back on, waves an incantation... <gasps> oh, ah, then I will see you at our next encounter, pilgrims. Come, El Coco. We leave these fools to their demise. Fritz, where did La Distractora come from? I, I don't know. She's it just appeared. It's well, I certain, magic. <clears throat> I hope Jade is still interested in getting drinks this evening either way. Yeah, oh, that would be so, I, such a bummer if she left all of her drinks to me. Oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully she <laughs> survives to see that long. <laughs> El Coco, with me. And she just hops down from the, like, two-foot-tall <laughs> platform that you guys are on and does a superhero landing. Great. And then runs <laughs> off towards the tavern. Incredible. That was terrifying. Hmm. <laughs> How will Olympi ever survive this overwhelming threat? My feathers are on their ends. So, uh, how long are we thinking we're gonna stay here? We'll, you hear, uh, you hear uh, a soft voice speak out. Not too long, I hope. Who? And you are approached Who's by that? an elven woman. Uh, Don't tell me. With blue hair? <laughs> with blue <laughs> hair, yes. 
No way. And she seems to be in some Alinthi kind of uh, official uniform, as you've seen in the uh, kind of Lord's offices. And hmm. she gives a cordial bow as the crowd starts to dissipate a little bit and go back to their duties after admiring the, the train. She gives a cordial bow. And... Oh, Al- Alejandra. Oh, she's pretty. Good she's af- got big fire emblem energy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good afternoon, pilgrims. Let me welcome you to Tigamura. Good afternoon. I'll admit, we were not exactly expecting you to make it here by train, considering it hasn't really been sanctioned by the lords yet. But it's nothing you need to worry about. You won't be fined for or imprisoned for daring to deliver the dragon hearts at a faster pace. This is something squarely to be handled between Lord Euphrasia and the others, as well as potentially Dragon Sergei, seeing as he's responsible for the railroad. Oh, it would be just awful if Lord Euphrasia got in trouble on her account. Mm. That would be, <laughs> considering she oh. was so helpful in getting this train arranged for us, it would, it would just be heartbreaking if she suffered some form of legal consequence <laughs> for her actions. Yeah, she even spent like finances from the city to get us over here. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't really even want to take the Taxpayers train. Taxpayers' we were money. Go, and she was like, "You guys got to get on this train now." So I it's... hope she's not taking advantage of that kind dragon. Look, I'm I'm not putting words or actions in her mouth, but there was definitely a lot of gold we had to lose on the way here in that back car. We we brought that up to her, and she said, "You know, it it's nothing that the taxpayers can't handle," is what she said. <laughs> So I don't know. Are you guys being sincere when you're saying this? Or <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With well, Alayra, give me a charisma check. Just straight charisma. Oh, God, why? <laughs> Come on, Alayra. Go, Alayra, uh, go. Our charisma uh, champion. First Ooh. roll of the night. Yeah. Well, okay. Oh, sh- hey. I keep oh, forgetting I have a plus two to this. Uh, she just, like... You see that she has some discomfort at just the aggression that you've had uh, in saying all that about Lord Euphrasia. Oh, uh, perhaps there is some strife that I was not aware of. Uh, I will not pry, but um, perhaps something worth looking into then. Um, uh, do you believe that it is a certain concern that I should take up with the other lords? Um, hmm. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to discomfort anyone. We got here, and that's really what matters, but, you know, the business of lords is a little bit above our pay grade, as it were. Yes, but the lords do take their work very seriously. If there are concerns or complaints about how they go about their work, I think it's within everybody's interest that the people of Alinthi are happiest and that their wishes are heard. I mean, <laughs> as a pilgrim of Satya, who is technically above the lords... <laughs> I really think that she has not been doing a good job. Well, well I, I could write you a list, but I, I can't. We were there for a limited time. And we only <laughs> saw a small amount of her operation, although much of it did seem to be going on beyond closed doors that we had very little access to. So who's to say what's what's going on in the Lord's heads after all? Probably right. human trafficking. Hmm. Whoa, that's <laughs> some accusations. I'm not going to keep that on record, as I assume that is a jest. But, yes, um, word. Very much a jest, I assume. <laughs> if I would hope too. <laughs> if more transparency is what is requested, then I perhaps can feed it up the vine and see oh. how the lords handle that feedback. And, That'd be a great uh, kindness. And, 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 uh, and uh, I don't mean to, I guess, uh, pry, but do, do they listen? I, I, I don't know if we've been properly introduced Did, are you someone that the lords would listen to and if you had asked them for more transparency well i would hope so i've been appointed by lord nicholas tehero himself and um. i quite believe in his work and i understand he's not got the best reputation especially for those from satya as you have a different way of running things but i promise he's only got the best of the kingdom at heart the best of interests mm-hmm. oh, yes he was quite helpful giving us a card to aid our journey and everything. I noticed that it, you did not travel here with it. Yes. Well, th- yeah, I think there, there's an issue. We ran into some trouble along the way. It's a dangerous job being a pilgrim, and somehow we've misplaced the car. I think that's probably the most apt word to use is misplaced. I'm reasonably car- sure we know where it is. We know where, okay, <laughs> we know where it is. <laughs> Technically, we don't have it. We don't have it. We don't have the car. We don't have the car. We lost. I, 
I lost the car. Oh. And, um... Oh. It, that is unfortunate, but right. accidents happen. <laughs> yeah, I agree. There have been more reports of more blot attacks recently, so it is understandable mm. that, you know, you having the hearts of a Limpy would possibly attract unduly characters. I turn around to Fritz Lair and word, yes, I see, it, it is completely understandable that the cart could be lost in the performance of our duties. Oh, I would course. agree with it. Of course. 100%. Well, I mean, it happened. It would be strange if it weren't an understandable thing. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Then, seeing as it was Lord Tejero's property, I can put in a request for him <laughs> to possibly produce another one for you once you make it to Trevisetta. Ah. And nah, we'll just grab a different one. Are you sure? The traversal of these carts makes, you know, Alinthi's environments pretty much a breeze. Well, we wouldn't eh. want to put him out. and. Um... No, I mean, you could bill him later. We just don't want... Are can you put you it sure? on the tab. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very well. Send then. him like a yes. invoice. Hmm. It, Perhaps it, by the it, time it, we reach Trevisetta, we'll have changed our minds, but mm -hmm. there's no need to put yourself out on our account. Is there a place where, where we can, if we needed to procure some type of traveling equipment to, just for the purposes of making it to Trevisetta? Well, this um, is the town of adventurers, and you can certainly stock up on supplies that will allow you to travel, as they do a lot of that here. Uh, but I will say that much as I would like to help and assist uh, as Elinthi officers can provide, Tigamura is fairly in independent in Trev Trevisetta's jurisdiction, so I can only pull so many strings. Uh, I'm not even the one in charge of this town, really, but uh, the Lord still wants to, uh, to have some presence and observation in the various peoples of Elinthi. So um, closest mm -hmm. thing to any sort of governor seems to be the leader of the Adventurers Guild, as the majority of the town sprung up around it. So if you need anything to help you with your traveling supplies, uh, a sim uh, other than a simple message sent, that is, uh, you best head there. Well, thank you. You're gonna be, so then you, are you just here to see uh, us into the town or, or do you live here? More or less, I, I do live here, yes. And uh, just here to keep track of your progress as well. I also received a missive that you will have visitors tomorrow by way of our officer's teleportation circles. Uh, from Satya, yes? Uh, yes, yes. A few of our friends some will be visiting. Friends. Indeed. Well, tomorrow morning you may see some very familiar faces. That'd be nice. Are there any further questions you may have for me? Yeah, what is there to do around here? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> this is the town of adventurers, my friend. There's plenty to do. Always work, always crafters, always people looking to assist and be assisted. If you simply turn the corner, there's probably someone around there that is willing to give you a job or give you a gift. Hmm. But otherwise, if you do need me, I will be in that building over there, positioned right in front of the massive train that is only held back by a wall of crystals channeling gravity magics, of which I am still on edge about the reliability. The architects of this town have an interesting sense of humor. Which came first, the building or the railroad? Um, about at the same time, uh, seeing as the railroad was to be constructed and give travel to the different provinces, the lords demanded that we have some sort of oversight on the places that it would be stopping. Uh, the town rep uh, responded in kind in the position they've decided to build it. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> Well, we'll um, we'll definitely make sure we stop in with you before we decide to head out to Trevisetta. Yes, very good, and I do hope you'll stay here as well, Pilgrims. Uh, apologies again for the trouble. All right. Welcome to Tigamura, and she gives another bow and walks off towards the official building. All right, she said to go in that direction for something to do. <laughs> Let's uh, <laughs> drop off the horses first, maybe, and then. Mm -hmm. we can check out the Adventurers Guild. Yes. All right. All right. All right. So you guys going to head to the stables then? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. I hop on Butterscotch. All right. Yep. Butterscotch and the... uh, Efficiency walk along with you guys to the stables where you can see that there is a warforge tending to various creatures uh, mounts like a couple of axe beaks, a full-grown cow, a mastiff, and some smaller ones like hunting dogs, a particularly bouncy ooze, looks like a slime, and a jackalope. Huh. Just kind of in a small pen, kind of just hanging out. 
the Warforged tending to the animals is dressed in what looks to be kind of typical farmer's wear and a s small straw hat decorated with a flower common, uh, commonly found around Tigamura that you can find just in the grass around. And the Warforged greets you in a voice akin to an elderly woman. Huh. <gasps> ah. Oh, good, good afternoon, dearies. Uh, do you require a home for your precious horses? They look awfully spooked. Uh, my name is Prickly Pear. I run stables. Uh, yes, we were hoping to house our horses here for the duration. Oh, of course, dearies. Oh, goodness. Oh, they look incredibly tired and scared. What happened? A lot. <laughs> and I, like, lean down and give Butterscotch a kiss. <laughs> our uh, our train was um, accosted on the way here, and the horses had a rather narrow escape, oh, thankfully. Bless the gods, no harm came of you all. And look at the precious things. They don't have a scratch on them. Oh, you take good care of these beautiful things, I can tell. Oh, she looks over at uh, Butterscotch. Uh, this one looks like it's got a bad leg. Oh, but you've been tending to it. Oh, that's so sweet, dearie. She grabs you by the cheek uh, word and oh, just kind of squeezes it and pulls it. <laughs> you've been a yeah. good horse wrangler, haven't you? The, are you the one that has a gift for me? <laughs> oh, what? for taking good care of these horses, the best gift that I can do is take them off your hands and make sure that they are well rested. Yes, word. I believe she was speaking rather metaphorically. I don't think ah. we're likely to encounter random people handing us gifts. That was such a literal <laughs> statement, though. That's fair. I, yes. I think I maybe trust this lady. <laughs> <laughs> and I hand her like one of the reins. Oh, well, thank you. Not to worry. I will take care of the babies. <laughs> I love her. This is so precious. <laughs> this is how I talk about my dog. <laughs> All right. Uh, what sort of stabling fee are we dealing with here? Uh, you can see there's plenty of space. There's a few open spots that... Uh... Oh, fee, you said. Yeah, I how see. much money are we paying? <laughs> So when you do offer her, she just holds her hand up. Oh, no, dearie, like I said, for taking care of these ones. Ah, oh, that's all the payment I could ask for. All I ask is that you take care of our town, just like we will take care of you. Hmm? Certainly. Fair I mean, enough. that's kind of our end goal. <laughs> they will all be right. in better shape than when you see them today. Wood, what is that icon on you? Oh, I, I feel terrible. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, oh yeah, we're, we're still poisoned, yeah. aren't we? Are we poisoned? poisoned. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are poisoned. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't had a I long rest since last <laughs> combat. Oh, boy. Do, do you get, do, should we stop by the healer's hut first? I'll oh, we'll be fine after a good night's sleep. As long you're, as they have a rest room. Oh, you're, yes, Ica I will take of... care of you if you need, require any ministrations. He's mm -hmm. an elven lad, very sweet. Maybe it would oh. be worth a little visit. Yeah, what was that lady's maybe. name? Uh, Prickly Pear. Prickly Pear. Prickly Pear. Prickly Pear. And then I Icor was the uh, Iker. I K E R. I K E R. Iker is Iker. the healing Iker. guy. Can we go to the enchantment area? Thing? Enchantment. Enchantments. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, we uh, we can split up if you want, but I think maybe we should all introduce ourselves to the Adventurers Guild. People first. Oh yeah, that's a good if, idea. Seeing as they're kind of the people who run this town, I guess. Let's take yeah. the most difficult thing they have on the menu. <laughs> right, Let's I don't. Not I, do we're that already we doing. The <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine there's much on that board that's more difficult than the job we are currently doing. But sure, let's let's just go there. How about that? Yeah, like wide good. stepping and holding his liver confidently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'm very nervous the word's gonna throw up. I'm walking by him. Did you eat another egg? <laughs> All right. No, they fed one to me. <laughs> <laughs> so you head to the healer's hut, yeah? Uh, oh, I think we're gonna guild. head to guild first. Oh, guild, so, guild yeah, first. guild first. Okay. So you head to the guild. And you can see that there is a human man outside. Actually, when you do head to the guild, you not only see a human man, you see a human woman looking at the board, uh, kind of looking up and down. 
uh, kind of among a few other what to be adventurers. But Buck, you actually recognize this woman. Mm. It is a human, oh. humanoid woman of some kind. She seems to be dressed in some kind of combat gear with a long bow resting across her chest. And when she kind of takes a quest from the board, turns around, locks eyes with you, she oh, perks no. up and suddenly starts to power walk your direction. Oh no. <laughs> um, uh, excuse me, guys. I think I left something back on the train she, and I'm gonna, can I walk the other right direction? There. I, got, I stopped Run. my train. <laughs> she walks past the rest of you without even taking a glance, goes up to you, Buck, grabs you on the shoulder and turns you around and the bright glare of her golden eyes shine on you as uh, if it were a blessing or in this case the curse, a curse. of Lady Luck yeah. herself. Oh god. Huh? It's uh, Pamiel Masante. Um. And she I'm just goes, sorry. you! Oh, Pam! Um, it's great to see you. Uh, I'm gonna um, lean over to Fritz and be like, "Okay, another ex-wife, perhaps?" Or <laughs> Nah, I Buck doesn't get around. The type to marry she twice. turns around to hear you say another. <laughs> no, I'm being quiet. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm gonna roll for her. No, yeah, her oh, her, no. Her, her, re her hearing is really good. No. Oh, no. Yeah. She I mean... turns back to Buck. Another. How many right? are there? Hmm? So was I right? Look, this- Wait, it's... another? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's not its not important. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. It's, I like, I don't what? know if you heard me say, Pam, it's good to see you again. That was me trying to kind of, you know, got get back into the good- the wrong foot. If you are what lucky, you, you will have feet left over when you leave this town. <laughs> what? I told I like you um, already. to never- come to Trevisetta again after what you did, and you have the nerve to start waltzing that way like you got a vacation home waiting for you there. It's, I, I'm, oh. I'm doing, Pam, I'm doing something important. I've, t I've turned around, I've found, a, the, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pilgrim, I'm a pilgrim. She narrows uh, her and eyes and squints, looks to the rest of the other three. You're this decade's pilgrim? <laughs> the well, best one ones four. out of all the decades. One of, yeah. She scrunches her face. She looks like she's going to throw up. I'm surprised you could see so far past your nose enough to not fall off the boat over here. Look, it was I, difficult. I, I, I get it. I, I completely understand that how the, you'd be, I, that you're upset. And I'm, and I get it. And I'm like looking for, to like word in Fritz and Alaire. Fuck. What, what is going on? What do you want to say? I, I, Are you a ladies not, man? <laughs> no, the, 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 can, uh, fr this is Word and Fritz and Lyra. Give me and, a yeah. Give me a persuasion check to try and change the subject. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, persuasion. I, I can't believe Buck is this bad with me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just turns back as you are introducing them. You three. You are with this man? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me warn you. He may seem like he's got your best interests at heart, but you make one wrong move and you'll be lucky if a dog pisses on you. It'd still be more respectful than whatever this idiotic ulterior motives bastard this brickhead has got in his empty jar head of his. Hey, look, oh my now that's- That's a little brutal. She that turns around. Like there's several loops. She turns around, just puts a finger up to your chin, Buck, almost touching it. You may be able to wear that soft, gentle mask for these fools for now, but I know the real Buck Baccarat. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of wait, what I want to do. Is this, um, is this step a- Step forward I, a little I, bit. Is this an ex-wife, Buck? <laughs> Lady, I don't think you get to talk to my friend like that. <gasps> Oh. oh. Can I step in? I, can I step in between? I'm gonna step in between uh, Pam Yell and, and Word. Since you do, uh, Buck, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh my sure. god! Since you are stepping between <laughs> Word. Okay. She throws a right hook that you eat, Buck, in place of Word. <laughs> Boosh! Oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> oh. You take six bludgeoning damage. 
Ah. Uh, wait, hold on. I have uh, I have advantage on dex save. Ah. I forgot I had the barbarian All feature. Right, show can me. I roll it? Can I roll again? You may roll again. Ooh. Okay, never mind. No, you <laughs> never mind. How much damage do I take? <laughs> Sorry, if Lady Luck really uh, wanted to get dexed by your ex-wife. <laughs> uh, six damage. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, I get up. Um. Whoa. Look. Maybe we can talk about this later. Not here in public, in front of everybody. Would that be amenable to you, Pamiel? She just gets uncomfortably close, face to face to you, nose to nose. Fine. You are lucky. Today was a good day for me. I was in a good mood, so I'm going to be nice and let you be. But you hurt anyone in this town, and you will wish the blood will be there to save you. I'll, I'll get, I'll, I, I want to get like also kind of close to her, like, cause now I'm getting frustrated. Um, <laughs> so I'll get like close, cause I'm trying to match her energy to the best that I can. Look, things are different than how they were before. And I'm trying to be kind in this situation. So let's just drop it and talk about this later. She leans back. Maybe you have changed, but I don't want to talk to you. Enjoy Tigamura, pilgrims. She Hi. walks off. What well. a character! <clears throat> okay, I like, what was I that? like brush, brushing off the, uh, the cloak that I have. Because um, I remember I've... not liking you. And I never got to the point that she's at. Did she try to punch word at absolute minimal provocation? Or did I imagine? Wait, yeah, that? was that trying to punch? Were they trying to punch word? Or what was going on? It's a, I stand I, invincible. I think that was, I think you guys wouldn't buy that that was just a drunk woman who <laughs> that mistook no. me for a different bugbear. No. I I'd assume. buy that if you hadn't called her Pam. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Wanna, wanna explain? Wex wife number two, like what? What? Or possibly number one? Should I be collecting oh, yeah. cards? It, is, is she number one or is she number two? She's number That's two. Six. Um, that ourselves. was my. That is my ex-wife, um, Pam, or Pam Yell. Um, okay. And we didn't exact. We weren't exactly married for a very long time, and. We didn't exactly leave one another on the best of terms. Um, Neither of your divorces have been left on very good terms, to say the least. I like the other one better. Broke. Yeah, the other one at least didn't. I mean, what did you do first? Well, yeah, what did you do? <laughs> she was pretty good. I just. <sighs> I, I really don't know that I want to get into it again. You don't have to tell you... us if you don't want to, but is she going to be a problem while we're here? I mean, mm. for you guys, she's probably not going to be a problem. For you me, say she's that. probably. Didn't, didn't she she's just try to punch you, Word? She... Look, is that what that was? She's... To be fair, Word has that effect on people. I do. Yeah. Pam is a very competent warrior in her own right, and she, uh, one of the things that attracted me to her in the first place. She's very strong, and uh, you know she's she's a good fighter, and she doesn't exactly um, she sticks up for herself, I would say. And so I I I can understand that she's upset and she's frustrated. Uh, didn't think she was gonna take a swing at word, but I'm glad I stepped in before anything before anyone's feelings were hurt. But she, I mean, she's all she's all bark. You'd believe that, right? Did she's all bark? <laughs> I think no she was just jealous of my confidence. How right, but let's, fresh let's, is this let's, particular wound? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, uh, I was really <laughs> sure hoping Sure, get around. Was, no, I was didn't. hoping we wouldn't... She, When I left her, we were in Trevisetta. That's when I was there last. And I kind of hope that, one, we didn't see her, and two, uh, that if we did see her, that it had been long enough to where she wouldn't be frustrated or upset. Um, and that must be somewhat the case because she didn't immediately try to kill me. So oh she, she must be in a really good mood today because um, I only took six points of damage and <laughs> I didn't take any more. Um, on a, but I, I, I this wouldn't, is on the order I, of years ago, I would assume. Perhaps. It was a while. Yeah, correct. It was, it was not... Uh, it, it was a long time ago that this happened. But... Um, mm. 
I, I guess Fritz is right in saying that I haven't exactly been. Um, I, I'm not the best at maintaining these types of relationships, and so it it just it just I, I really don't think I want to talk about this right now. Besides, we got to get into the we got to get into the the Adventures Guild, right? Like, let's not. I don't think we're probably ever going to see her again. <laughs> She's probably going to go her own way, and we don't have to worry about it. And then I can go to not worrying about it. Uh, and then we can all not worry about it, and it should be fine. And then no one has to worry about Pam. Sounds like you're ever worrying again. about it. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it, it may sound like that, but I'm, but I promise that I'm not. I, uh, I think we just get our minds off of it by going into the Avengers Guild, and then we don't, and then that's it. And then, whew, I wonder if there's a, I think there's like a gaming like a table I around agree here. With somewhere. Buck. We will pester him later. Ah, well, I don't know. We about don't necessarily that, need to pester him at all. This but town we isn't. Can. Look, 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 look. I, you, I owe you guys. <laughs> yeah. I, I owe you guys this that I, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I'm sorry that you had to be a part of that. I'm sorry, word that she attacked you. This is my old stuff coming back up. I, I don't want it to hamper what it is that we're doing because we've going, been going along great. So I don't want to. I don't want to dwell too long on it. I guess. Very well. well, that's not troubling at all, but <laughs> mm. we have stuff to do today other than be dramatic. We can be theatric. Let's oh. look at these. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> You're looking wow. at the quest board, and there's a lot of various quests that unfortunately require you to be registered with the guild. <gasps> uh, oh, however, no. as you're looking them over and noticing this, it's like they've all got like a sigil stamp of like required guild approval and all this uh, kind of like information. And they've all got the same like fine print to let you know that legally, in order to, to get rewarded for this, you need to be approved and registered with the guild. And you see that a human kind of comes up next to you, a kind of large, kind of burly guy. He's got very scraggly hair and scars all across his face. And mm. uh, he's got a big great sword on his back and a very bushy beard. And he just leans over to you. Hey, you, you newcomers, huh? Finally, someone who can help me with this. Oh. What's this? And mm. uh, you can see that there's a the human uh he holds up a quest next to you it's uh what's gonna get me into the guild uh, but first my name is eduardo it's nice to meet you eduardo barobia and he extends a hand down you can see yeah there he is huh. dude rolls the human man is very big and loud and he's shouting loud enough that probably the entire town can hear Ooh. all right immediate five step foot back <laughs> I can feel words salivating in terms of yeah. guys to bring into his group. <laughs> I thought that you couldn't get into the guild, or that you couldn't do these things until you were in the guild. Yeah, but I what got they, approval like by the guild leader. Huh? He was here just a moment ago. He's off on his lunch break or something. But I don't want to bother him. But you guys, you are all new too, eh? Mm. Can I do I'm an insight sure. check to see if this guy's like not on the level? Because that... That feels like, oh, you don't need to get official approval to help me on this thing. Uh, yeah, give me an insight. <laughs> Thank it sounds you. almost like he got roped in by another guy to do that. All right. Okay, yes. Uh, so, looking at him, he it does seem like he is being truthful about having this paper and it being his job. But he's certainly mm. hiding something, perhaps uh, his true motives. Mm. Why do you need someone new? <laughs> well, because uh, more new people means more people in the guild, huh? If you help me out with this, maybe the guild master will let you in. Maybe we should talk to the guild master about that first. Um, what makes you, yeah, what makes you think the guild master isn't just gonna let us in? We're pretty formidable. Ah, I know the guy, he's a good friend of mine. He can, he, he'll let you in. Oh, oh man. Uh, yeah, and I know the manager of every restaurant I go to. Please, just trust me. <laughs> hey, hey, how about this, huh? You help me with this quest from the quest board, and I'll give you all the gold rewards, huh? All of it. I keep none of it. And when you look, he, he shows it to you. You can see the quest reward itself has a gold reward of 500. 
What is it? Uh, yeah, what is the actual what, does question? Does it say, does it say it on there? So, yes, you look over the quest, and it seems to be collecting a, a specific flower called a ringing lily that is very rare around this region for the local healer, Iker. He's asking for the flower mm. in order to be used as a medicine to cure a kind of newly forming disease that seems to be coming from the north. The details well, of which are not really all that written in the paper. There's a note, a uh, quest giver's note, that it's he's not giving the details of the disease yet so as to not raise panic. Uh, everything mm. should be fine. Everyone in Tigamura should be fine and are not susceptible to it right now. But this is a precaution that he would like to take in case it does migrate down south. Mm. We're going north next. Just, yeah. I think we're going west next, aren't we? Isn't that where we're it's going? We're going north, north in the long run. Mm. Uh, uh, well, well yeah, we're convenient. going north eventually. Because we want to talk to Iker anyway. If we're going to be doing an adventure, mm. Warden, I should Does, probably get unpoisoned. Do we have any idea how long this quest might take? Oh, I not mean, long not at all. Exactly. Not long at all. Only like an hour or two. Huh? We, we'd be back before dinner time. <laughs> Very generous of you to extend such an offer to complete newcomers. Of course, of course. We need more helpers in this town. Huh? Adventurers, that's the lifeblood of Tigamura. <laughs> That's why I love this town. That's why I came here to be a be an adventurer. Help out with no reward. It's for the help's sake. You get the reward. I get the help out. My favorite town, Tigamura. Oh How long have why you? Why do you want to help so bad? Oh, because helping is good, no? Well, he's not wrong. How long have you been in Tigamura trying to join the Adventurers Guild? Well, I came in yesterday, got some rest, filled my belly. Oh, that place has got good food. The cook is very good. He's a, he's a cockerel, looks like a peacock. He's a good man. Tell them I say hi. Uh, but this place, I like this place, and I, I want to see it strive, you know? I want to see it survive. So I want to help. I want to help these people like they help me. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm not averse to helping you help these people, but uh, we do need to visit the healing hut first. Okay, okay. Extra. You go to the healing hut, uh, say hi to Aiko, but uh, hey, hey, do something for me, huh? Just a little favor. Uh, keep this mm -hmm. a secret. I want to surprise him, huh? I really like that guy. He's a cool guy, huh? All right. What? And if we what? help you help us, then down the line you'll be able to help us because we help you. That's the currency of Tigamura, baby! And we help you, and you help us, and we help you back! We'll be in touch, Eduardo. Yeah, you see me outside, of, right outside the town's borders. Uh, that door a little bit south <laughs> to the left. A shout out to your names. Oh, what's, what's, what do your names? <laughs> what do you, I what do you name? am God King Wood. Oh, but you can call me. Oh, boss. you already got the title. Oh, you're a cool adventurer. Huh? You already got the title. I don't even have a title yet. I'll call you Eduardo for now. Oh, a name is a good enough title. Eh? <laughs> oh, thank you, God King Word. I look forward to working with you. Call me boss. Oh, right. Sure thing, boss. Uh, I like I like a guy who already knows what he likes. All right, Word, we should really get going. <laughs> Yeah, I still feel terrible. That guy was walking the way to the restroom. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. As All we right. as we walk in, I'm like, Fritz, do you think that that guy reminded me a lot of Lara? Don't you think? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm joking, Fritz. Oh my gosh. That that person couldn't have been further apart from our friend Lara. I. I fully believed you for a second. I thought you were insane. <laughs> I do, well, not far from it. Let's we do let's share go a passion there. for truth and justice. That's I exactly what I was people. thinking. Okay, so you head towards the healer hut. You see that there's yeah. no customers inside, and you can see that uh, inside what looks to be a fairly pale, tall, and lanky elven man uh, who's got real bad posture. He's leaning over the counter, hunched over some tomes and not really making a single sound, even with his page turns. And he barely looks up when you enter the store to see you all and it gives you a slight wave. Uh, I just... Good afternoon. And you can see, there he is. Oh my God. You must, you <laughs> must be Ike. That's not so what I imagined <laughs> when you said that slender is elf man. <laughs> He's so okay. scrungly. I love him. Yeah. He, he looks up from his tome. Yes, hello. You're newcomers, yes. 
He could be like Meowth anywhere Meowth. between like elf 20 and elf 50 and it's there's no <laughs> yeah. way of knowing like if he slept and shaved. <laughs> yeah. Is this is this man five uh, 50 or 5000? Not sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've created a Tumblr man. Oh yeah, no, no. Oh lord. Oh yeah, they'll be I sandblasting those I creases said. off him any minute now. <laughs> oh no, yes, do you require some sort of healing or medicine? We're here for two reasons. Our guts are full of toxins, and we gotta talk to you about a guy. Uh, oh? Uh, a guy. Well, are you familiar with Eduardo? Now, word, I will remind you that Eduardo asked us not to tell this man the I thing he told us. I just told the man. Okay. He's, and you just said his name right in front of this he man. He squints his eyes, takes his hand, and <laughs> pinches his nose. Oh, God, so what is he up to? Trying to help you, allegedly. Help? Oh, no, he didn't. Perhaps he did. You might need to be more specific. Oh, hey. That man is going to be the death of me. Listen, I told him that that quest is to be taken up by a few people that I've specifically hired for this job. It is too dangerous. I would prefer that no one unqualified go and take it. And yet he goes and does it anyway. Well, he actually got in contact with the right people. We got in contact, capable. yeah, with some pretty qualified people. Like, we, we don't, don't have the actual qualifications because I don't know how to sign their papers. Well, of course he's got contact adventurers. with the qualified people. He's the bloody leader of the Adventurers Guild. Oh I was, no! I was, I was, I'm I was so afraid glad. of something like that. <laughs> I thought I was gonna bluff. I was gonna tell him I was the leader. <laughs> <laughs> well, arrow I dodged, I suppose. Yes. Please tell me he didn't pull the whole I'm a new adventurer trying to make my way into the guild trick on you. Oh, you? yeah, he, he's, he's a sociopath. <laughs> well, he yeah. certainly pulled that stunt, but... Oh. He probably has some sort of reason behind this. Listen, we don't get a lot of newcomers, and it's his way of screening you all. Now, no disrespect, but we can't know your true intentions, pilgrims or no. So, Eduardo, he likes to do a little bit of checking people out, seeing what their intentions are, what kind of people they are, takes them on these goose chases, or in this case, something extremely dangerous that I made sure that he didn't take on to make sure that the people coming to this town are good. Well, so he's not trying to, like, kill us intentionally. No, he'd rather kill himself first if you put a sign on a door, on two doors, one leading to riches and one leading to certain death, he'll have trouble deciding which one to go into. I like those odds. I suppose it's a credit to him that he's survived this long. I know Eduardo and he's not going to let this go lightly and he'll be extremely disappointed if you turn him down. Best just make sure that he's safe, yeah? Well, don't don't let the bellies full of toxins fool you. I mean, we're we're fairly uh, experienced adventurers. Yes, I ourselves. heard about your exploits at the other provinces. You are indeed impressive. Your skill set handling multiple dragons, especially the bull of Nubis Sky. I've got to say, I thought she was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can I wrest control of your honey pot there? What? what? Huh? That's a old timey toilet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's right. He has to make a pukey. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, the washroom is to the right. He points over. <laughs> I head to the washroom. What are you doing in the washroom? <laughs> Attempting to flush out my toxins. Oh. oh <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that you're in there for a bit, he says, so was there a reason that you came here, yes, to get healed? Yes, yes, Ward and I ran afoul of uh, the blot. Oh, uh, you can come out of the washroom. I've got something for that. Okay, and it was a honey bucket. I don't know why I said pot. Uh, <laughs> word, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> didn't hear you wash your hands. Word, I think you got to go back and. Uh. All right, and uh, he. <laughs> I just stand there. <laughs> he reaches into what looks to be a pouch, uh, and grabs like a few little what look to be like rocks, like very smoothed over, maybe river rocks, and he hmm. does a little hand gesture over it cast a little bit of incantation and phew, lesser restoration onto both of you. Your poison Ooh. is gone and you also get the benefits of a short rest if you need it and you may oh, roll one yeah. hit die if you so Ooh. wish. Alright. Yeah. Yay. And that should do it. 
nasty little thing. Where'd you contract that? On the train. On Much the... appreciated. Yeah. Mm. We got slapped by some blot. The blot can cause diseases now. Whoops. He kind of strokes his chin at that. Oh, that's mm -hmm. concerning. The blot are usually not able to give any contractions to the living. Do you think it has oh, any relation to that illness you're trying to preempt? Possibly. The blot has not evolved in nigh on a few centuries, and what we know about it has been consistent over the centuries, so this is... Oh, oh boy, do we know some binge. things. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely the only thing it can do. Yes, usually it <laughs> takes control of... Uh, what we do know is it takes control of whatever body husks, constructs, and just does harm through traditional means, cutting, bruising, but disease, that's a new one. Oh, it's not uncommon in nature. Uh, that's we just the thing, though, the blot's not natural. Well, at least not in nature as and you and I understand it. They're natural as they are part of the ecosystem now, and we just have to deal with them, but their origins are still very unknown. Yes, that's Eduardo true. said that you were attempting to preempt some sort of illness from the north. Yes, Is there anything I, we should be worried about? Uh, That's nothing you need to concern yourselves right now. I think it's spread is somewhere around a few months out, especially where they're taking precautions to quarantine anyone they may suspect might be contracting the disease. Would this be what happening in the vicinity of Trevisetta? Because we do need to go there next. And there would be, but uh, if I know Lord Tahiro, I'm sure that he is right on it. He does take sickness very, very seriously, especially those of his workers. For better or for worse. Hmm. Well, that's simultaneously encouraging and not very encouraging at all. Rest assured, you as pilgrims will probably get the utmost care in his. Mm. But what about oh. other people? Well, yeah, what are their, like, symptoms? Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, other people are not Lord Tahiro's concern, apparently. Is that why you put your quest out? Well, yes, uh, Tigamura, we don't like to t put a lot of dependence on uh, uh, the lords. As uh, much as helpful as they are, especially you folk over in Satya, your lord has been very helpful in letting us do as we wish and keeping out of our business. Sometimes we may find their help to be unreliable. Mm. We've had a history of strife amongst our, our people in Trevisetta, and uh, we'd preferably like to keep out of their jurisdiction as best we can, but sometimes that's not possible when you live in the entire kingdom that's owned by the Lordship. Mm -hmm. And mostly by Trevisetta. Is that a consensus that's shared amongst many of the people who live here? Uh, usually. Uh, they don't have, hold any strife against the people who live there, granted, but they just prefer to live a different way as it is. Live and let live, you know? Hmm. Well, yes. proposition. You need that flower. I do. For some research. You need some competent people. You have quite some pretty, I mean, look at our resume. Competent. And the Healthy. guild master wants to have some fun. <laughs> and we've got to look after him. How about we do this and this whole restoration is free in the spirit of, um, I forget the name. I'm uh, the restoration the was free like... anyway. I wasn't going to shh, 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 shh. I I like this town. Maybe <laughs> we also get extra supplies. We don't need to negotiate that until we've actually done the task. That mm. No, 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 no. It's like... No, wait, mean, yeah, you do negotiations the, before. So, yeah, yeah, I. The five hundred, the five hundred gold would be like, good. Yeah. I mean, I just think that that would be fine with me if we could get paid what you were gonna pay the people who were gonna do this, and a potion of healing. Lyra, I'm trying to do something good. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll just be quiet. <laughs> I'm trying to do something <laughs> good. It's very good. You're you very you good go, job. Fritz. You you go. You go. Well, you said it would have been exactly 500 gold? Crazy, that's exactly what you would have paid us. So, like, this would work out well. Like, I'm ignoring the fact he said free. <laughs> he just takes his hand and just kind of rubs it down his face. Uh, you're going to get along with Eduardo swimmingly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be by to take that money. Yes, yeah, so I'd be happy to pay you for that flower. I just... Uh, Is Eduardo. it... it, it is there a reason that it, you've, you said it's dangerous to get the flower? Yes, I mean, I flowers are. That. Oh, I completely forgot about that. 
Yes, well, this particular this particular breed likes to grow in damp environments in caves, and there is a particularly large cave that has the best situation for it to grow in, but it's a cave that is home to a couple of boulettes. You do know what those are, yes? Large, monstrous creatures look like land sharks. Mm. They like to dig under My the ground. My mom saw one once. Yeah, it's home to, to a family of them in there, but... Uh, I don't know. Perhaps you could procure the flower without disturbing them. I would request that you not harm them, as they are an important part of the ecosystem. And uh, although sometimes they do need culling, and not as of now, as this season they are on the low of their population. So, in order to keep things steady, let's leave them be, yes, as best you can. That's very responsible. Hey, hey. far be it from me to ever plan for the worst, and... Gods forbid, but if the life tree were to ever go out, well, we've only got ourselves, eh? We've got ourselves and the animals around us. Can't rely on the tree all too often. Just like the Lordship. Perhaps so. Well, uh, thank you for the healing and the advice. We'll see what we can do. Very well. So don't kill land sharks. Get flower. Win. Yeah. Yes, how many flowers yeah. do you need? Is one sufficient or would be more better? Um, if you could pluck three for me, uh, the petals are not exactly the most potent. So, yes, three should be good. Yeah, right. Hopefully we can do that. Very well. Is it just mm -hmm. as an amazing story to wrest flowers from sleeping bullets that it is to just take them out? We, we shouldn't. We just shouldn't kill them. That's okay. Yeah. Well, I can't stop you if you would. I would just be, it would just be bad for us all, really. Yeah, it's uh, balance of nature. I, I do understand that sometimes drastic measures need to be taken to preserve your own life. Best try for the best case scenario, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. I suppose that's fair. I Optimist. do like the prospect of not dying, too. <laughs> Very well. Well, uh, best of luck to you, pilgrims, and, um, well, I'm not so much concerned for you as I am for him. So, watch that water yes. for me, please. We'll do our best. Aye, aye. All right. All right. You've been healed, and you have a quest. All right. So, we get there. We knock the guy out. We get them <laughs> secretly, and then we come back and wake him up and tell him that he did it. Uh, um, I don't think we should do that. I mean, I, how fragile do you think the guy is? I do think I'm that knocking very... him out would be difficult. Ah. But I also suspect this is some form of secret audition to allow us should to be part of the Should we pretend we don't know? Yes, absolutely. We should pretend we don't know. Okay. Okay. Then let's just perform a. So we're lying. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm on board. <sighs> yeah, I'm on board. Yeah. Let's go lie. Well, let's. I mean, are we gonna do? Are Wait, we? Wait, I want to see it. I want to do. Are we all good to go stuff? if we before we go I'm on a dangerous go. adventure? I'm good. I'm good. I mean, as well. I. But if we, but I think Fritz wanted to visit the Enchanter place. I want to see oh, if yeah. I have enough. Money if there's anywhere for we it. want to, if, if there's anywhere we want to visit, that's also fine with me. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, do yeah. that first. Yeah, you can you can visit all the places that you want. So the Enchanter, just give me one second. Those you flowers visit the Enchanter, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm sorry. I'm gonna break immersion here, but I <gasps> do not have all the things ready for the Enchanter. But you can oh, no. still oh, speak. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you you can't just letting you know that next session there will be stuff the Enchanter will be able to do. But you can wow, still I could, get that. Crazy! Sweet, sweet... I could just go next session. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you would still want to wow. visit them now, you can. We can put it off if we, until you're until you're ready. I, I will leave the choice up to you. I'm going to make it easy. Oh, no, the place is closed. What if I went to the blacksmith instead? <laughs> All right. They're closed you can go to on the Sundays. Of course they are. Oh, of you guys are also do. trying to get in the back. Your your tokens are trying to get in the back of the door of the enchanter's place. I am not not the front, which There's I imagine a, is over here. This is here. not the front. The sign no, is right well, here. No, the, uh, no oh, on the enchanter here, place. The enchanter's you, over here. You guys well, are over on the back. Yeah. We I also was had our conversation through the window. Through the window oh, yeah, the, through the window. Yeah. Yeah, noticing that they're blackout. Yeah. Yeah, I was just looking through the window and noticed it black out. All right, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> we'll go to the blacksmith. Okay, you go to the blacksmith. Yippee! You step inside and you can Yippee! see that there is a very feisty goblin hammering away. It looks like she's like working on five different projects at once. She's like, like pu uh, pushing kind of the uh, the breather, whatever you call it, the fan bellows. Mm -hmm. The bellows. That's it to heat up the uh, the oven. 
while simultaneously hammering away at a sword and using her foot to like maneuver some an oil bucket to kind of temper something in. And she calls out, just one moment. And I'm she gonna kind of back. like, hey, your type. <laughs> flips a few things into the the oil bucket, and it's just on fire. And she just oh. walks up to the uh, counter, put uh, brushes off a little bit of dirt on her apron, completely ignoring the fact that there's dirt all over her face. Her hair is tied up in a little knot, and she greets you. Hello, and welcome to AK's. Oh, I love her. <laughs> oh, I love her. You buck third ex-wife? <laughs> no. I'm not married to everybody. <laughs> and you can see that she's got uh, various different uh, things. I also added the weapon skill uh, things that you get. Yay. Courtesy, uh, inspiration courtesy of Baldur's Gate 3. Ah. So this is all. I hope oh, that these are cool. all only weapons that you own. Yes. Okay, cool. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. I only have 80 gold pieces. <laughs> we're going to get more money. Yeah, yeah, we, we might need we're to come back when, we, yeah. when we're when we loaded. Yeah, maybe, I'll, maybe I won't use it right now, but maybe come back. Oh, I could afford one thing right now. Mm. It would be all my money, so maybe I will come back. Yeah. You guys get all this money from. If I, I don't use know. the... Gaping Wounds ability, does that work like maxing out crits with my uh, sneak attack damage too? It most certainly does. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> uh, I'm going to enchant Negotiation to do that. Alright. So you can add Gaping Wounds as just like a thing that you can uh, yeah. like a feat. Okay. I'm fine with just Ooh. 80 gold. Yeah, negotiate right. down. I use a light crossbow then, I? You do. Yes, I would also like to get go Gaping Wounds. That sounds right. disgustingly good. Wonderful. It's either a light crossbow or a hand crossbow. Either way, you would have have gaping wounds. I use, yeah. I use, right. mm -hmm. I'm going to do gaping wounds then for 80. All right. All right. Well, I do not have enough gold to get any of these until we do the thingy, so I'll just chill. I also love her design. I love her. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you are so saying cute. third ex-wife. <laughs> Let's not make assumptions on the number of uh, we can make, uh, Oh yeah, how I'm always I'm this? always good to add one to the rosters. <laughs> how do you feel about being my, another one of my ex-wives? No, I do not know. Hello, I don't know this. Divorce <laughs> Pick up line. What to have your life count, ruined by me? The the divorce count in Alinthi is officially at 3. <laughs> Oh boy! All right. All right. Is that anything else we want to do? Uh, yeah. Anybody uh, buying anything else from no. the blacksmith? Or I'm not thinking ready. No. Okay. All right. Sweet. Where to next? Find Eduardo. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Down to find Eduardo. All right. So you head uh, kind of to the outskirts of town, following his directions to the southwest-ish, and mm -hmm. he is just kind of like right outside the last few buildings of the town, and he's waving, Hey, my new adventure friends! Hey, are you gonna help me with that quest now, huh? Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. We'll get that flower for you. Ah, well then follow me. The cave is this way. Uh, watch your step. Don't want to fall into any other smaller caves. <laughs> uh, this, uh, it's a bad joke. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys... Uh, are now following Eduardo as he gives directions and gives like small talk and like a bunch of different stories of questionable uh, validity as now that you know that he has duped you from uh, when he told you he was a new adventurer, it's hard to tell what is true or not. Can I ask him a question while we're walking? Yeah, you can. Um... Oh no! I, that would reveal that he's the. Uh, <laughs> never mind. I don't. I don't have a question. Because if I asked him the question, it would reveal that we know <laughs> that he's. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Forget I said that. Okay. All right. So you it was only a... came into town like a few days ago. Oh yeah, just a few days ago, I came in and they welcomed me with open arms, uh, just like they did with you. But uh, you're more open arms too, because uh, I guess you're a big deal or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, the biggest. Yeah. They may not have heard of us before, but by the time we finish our round, everyone will. Oh, I sure hope so. This is the place to make a reputation, eh? <laughs> uh, you're gonna be a good boss, yeah? The best. 
He like clutches his heart. Aww. And when you when you say like make a reputation, you hear the voice of uh, nonstop Begonia's word. <gasps> ah, yes, a good reputation indeed. Yes, thank you, voice in my head. <laughs> you say that out loud. Yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the voice in cur- of encouragement. Yeah, <laughs> I got one of those too. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> huh. And anybody else have anything to say while while you're on your path to uh, the cave? Um, I think I'm just taking in the scenery. You said this place is very like empowered by the life tree, and it's got a lot more like wildlife and, and yes, larger there. animals that are kind of in like peak form thanks to just having a very nice environment thanks to the life tree. If you want, you can give me either a perception or nature check uh, if you want Ooh. to learn a little bit more. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, right. 16. What specifically are you, uh, what field are you trying to learn about? Um, I think I'm kind of interested in the, like, monster ecosystem. It's not really something that gets brought up a lot in the concept of, like, nature and stuff. But it's like, it's D&D world. Monsters are a part of nature, too. You know, they're yes, not all abominations they and are. stuff. Yes, indeed. And yeah, you've got, they're like typical predators that um, eat meat around here, but do not need to eat nearly that much as, again, thanks to the life tree, uh, they make plants that are very nutritious. And as a result, the herbivores that eat them are also in peak physical form. And as a result, they are very nutritious. And the meat eaters that eat them have a very, very lenient metabolism that allowed them to store that fat and keep it for a very, very long time. Um, <laughs> And uh, it does unfortunately result in the herbivore population. You notice that there's a lot of herbivores and you can Uh, see kind of off to the side that there are a few like hunters kind of stalking them around. Easy for a humanoid like you to spot, but perhaps for like the odd deer or something else, it's not so easy that they're just kind of standing there. Like they've learned that predators are not the biggest deal. They'll see it every now and then, but so they're not so threatened and thus makes their calling a little bit easier. Well, that makes sense. And it does seem to result in, as you can uh, surmise from having there being a lot of not-so-cautious herbivores, that food is in plentiful supply in, P- in Tigamura. Hmm. Nice place. Uh, while we're walking, can I ask, so, um, what are your thoughts on the uh, the Lord of uh, Trevisetta? Ah, uh, the, the lords, the, uh, the, the governor people... Yeah, right, correct. Uh, I don't know. I don't know much about them. I don't keep up with the politics all that much. I just uh, I just wander the place to be my own man, yeah? Just uh, survive off of the land. And then here I finally find a place that I might be able to call home. Uh, make me free. This place is free for me. I don't need to sign too many papers. It sounds pretty good. I imagine that you must have come from somewhere. Did not a lot of freedom wherever you came from? Uh, I don't know. It's just, you know, places the winds calling me, calling my name. I, I did used to come from a place up north and uh, more to the west. Uh, beyond that, that spooky place, uh, the, the Osea, whatever they call. Yeah, I've been over there and uh, they, they let me in. Thankfully, I fought off the monsters. I fought the blight. That's how I got in here. And uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, they thought I could uh, they could use some extra hands, strong arms like me, you know, and uh, can fight the blight. Wait. What's it like in Deosia? I'm sorry, you you came from beyond the range of old Deosia. Yeah, even further west, uh, big snowy place. Yeah. Other kingdoms. That's hmm. fascinating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't easy though. I kind of lost my eye. You can see the, those are those blot. They're nasty. They leave marks that aren't so easily healed. That uh, that uh, cute healer guy, Ika, he uh, he. He uh, helped out a little <laughs> bit a couple of days ago when I came here, but uh, this thing, he said uh, it's probably not recoverable, which is sad, but that's okay. I hear the guy, the fellas, they like a bit of scars on a guy, huh? <laughs> you said you said a couple of days ago you met the cute healer guy because I thought you said that it was just yesterday that you, you got here. Yeah, you know, you yesterday, a couple cute. of days ago. Our common is a, is a hard. I usually speak uh, 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 dwarvish. I'm more, more of a dwarf. I got a little bit of dwarvish blood in me, huh? Oh. Huh. Right, I don't know that. Uh, sure, I mean I'll Wait, take do your I word for it. Do you know Dwarvish? Do you know Dwarvish? I think I you don't. Do, don't. I was hoping Dozen would have uh, taught me. No. Oh yeah, you know Dwarvish curse words. <laughs> Is Dozen single though? Like, do we wanna <laughs> do we wanna see if these guys are? <laughs> 
Well, he's got his eyes on Like, oh, he's got a little dwarvish in him. Does he want a little more? (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. Lyra. Oh, my (laughs) goodness. You are just like this guy. (laughs) Joe, would I be able to try to very butcher uh, dwarvish, like, greeting from what I've heard Dozen saying? Give me a... Just a straight intelligence check. See, just try and recall what you remember. You say the Australian friend word, but with an American inflection. Where is my Mate. intelligence? Wait, that saving throw. What? <laughs> oh, there we go. You could have asked All right, me to say it. So, uh, what are you trying to, to recall information on? I'm going to very try to, Lily says, like, oh, I know about Dwarvish. I'm going to try to very, try to recall saying, like, oh, hello, how are you in Dwarvish? Okay. Oh, ha, ha, hey, you are, you will learn from the kinsman, eh? Oh, he speaks back in Dwarvish, like, fluently to you, and you pick up on a few uh, words, and he says something yeah. along the lines of, hey, let's go off the highest cliff and jump off and see if we can tackle a yeti. And, uh, <laughs> something, along, something along those lines, but he says it real fast that it takes you, like, a moment to translate it. And he gives you, like, a big hand like, high up. Down. Like, he gives you a high I'm five. like... It, is, I'm like trying to think, is this like a saying that the dwarvish people say, or is he just fucking with me? Oh, what you understand, it's not a dwarvish saying per se, he's just, uh, just being friendly and inviting. It's like the equivalent oh, okay. of inviting you out to drinks. I'll like, I'll like, I'm gonna, is he offering to high five? Is he his way yes. hand up? My, okay, <laughs> yeah, I like high five him, I'm like, yeah, my dad's dwarvish. Oh, yeah, hey, kinsman in the mainland, oh, I wanna, I wanna have a drink with him, eh? He'll be here tomorrow if you want to drink. Trust me, you'll drink him under the table. Oh, I look forward to a challenge, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see why Iker is so tired all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> getting pestered by this guy. Still I'm excited. I got my dad a drinking buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. And as you travel a little bit, and uh, in fact, Fritz, uh, I don't know if you already have one, but for trying to draw upon your dwarvish knowledge and trying to connect with this guy the similar way that you do with your dad, get an inspiration for that. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I have an inspiration because I don't know where I mark them down. I don't know either. Uh, there should be... Oh, I see it. Yes. Ha! Yeah. I don't have one. Haha, then you get I one. I have an inspiration. Ha-ha. So, you seem to approach kind of a craggly, rocky area um, that seems to have a very fairly well-hidden entrance that if you had just glanced over, you would miss. But thanks to Eduardo pointing it out, there does seem to be some obscuring, obscured by large boulders in entrance. All right, this is the place. Huh? The bullets are in there. You follow my lead, and we can try and find the flowers, huh? But let's not disturb the sleeping dudes, yeah? Mm. That sounds like a good idea. Are you sure that you want to take the lead? Ah... I'm the newbie gotta... here. You're the experienced one with all the reputation. How about you tell me? Huh? Let's see how you do things, eh? Let, let us take I'm the saying. lead. Yeah. All right, all right. Behind you, adventurers. And let's move forward. All right. This First. is going to be a skill challenge. Can, uh, Good. I was I was gonna say before the skill challenge, can I use my bolstering magic uh, oh, effect? You may, yeah. yes. I will say any preparations you need to make uh, outside can be freely made. So you've got you've still got there's not a time limit on this. Uh, I will use it on Fritz. I'll say Fritz. I've got this in the bag. It's like a bird. You get to add. Yeah, it's like, it's baby bard inspiration. Yeah. He is a barbarian. Yeah. Hey! He is a barbarian. <laughs> Look at that. He is a bar- barbarian, or whatever you, the word. <laughs> but yes, uh, in this skill challenge, you will have to beat a DC of at least 13 three times in order to pluck three flowers. However, with three failures, i.e. 12 or less, the bullets will wake up and the DC to pluck the flowers will be higher. You will not have mm. failed, but the bullets will have woken up and you would be at risk of their aggression and the DC will be higher. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, first up, Fritz. Um, so we're in a cave, right? Mm-hmm. 
do we sl- we see the sleeping things yet? Yes, you can see not? that there's okay. about six or so sleeping bullets. Ooh. Three fully grown and three Ooh. cubs just kind of like... So they're on the ground, correct? They are on... Just like on, building an image under in my the brain. Ground. You see like little mounds oh. of flesh sticking out as if they were pebbles, but you can see them just slowly rising and okay. falling. They look like large rocks in the ground. We don't see the flower yet, right? Not quite, no. Okay, I'm going to take flight and I'm going to try to be as high up to the cave as I can. And can I use my acrobatics to basically like try to weave through the stag- slag- stag lights? Yeah, you can. Stalactite? Stalactite. Trying to like be as far away from them as I can as and higher up. Mm. And start going in a bit more to look for the flower. Yeah. I assume that would be acrobatics, right? Okay, that would be. Oh. Yeah, I think you made a good argument for it. Okay, you hover around and you do see that there is one kind of just growing out of the cracks kind of on the side of the cave and you pluck it, you have one flower. Well done. Yippee. These are called, what are they called? They're called, um, shit, I have a note here somewhere. Ringing lilies. Hmm. They, they kind of, when you put them up to your ear, the wind kind of passing through the petals gives a low kind of jingly sound. Oh, pretty. I'm going to very quickly put that in my pocket. <laughs> yes, yeah. You may add uh, ringing lily to your inventory. Also, uh, I think I put bullets in the handout. I want to show you guys for anyone who has not seen a bullet before. Here we go. There's a bullet for those of you who don't know. They're a big lion shark. shark. They've got hind Whoa. legs, but this one is half in the ground. Oh, that's so cool. I want to pet it. Don't. Yeah, no. Don't. Come on, man. Don't. They are huge. They are massive. Yeah, they're, they're like, little, yeah, they're from, from tip of the nose. So you're saying Big they're Boy like doesn't deserve a pet? No, I'm if not saying not that. Maybe not when they're just, hibernating. Just letting you know Why? how big they are. That uh, from tip of nose to toe, they're about like 10 to 12 feet long. Something it shouldn't be. Lines. It shouldn't be shaped like, like a friend. Cute. <laughs> it's so cute. If not friend, why friend shape? Yeah, it's <laughs> it is cute. Is and who knows? Maybe you will get a chance to pet it if you it wake looks it up. Like oh a no! Big lizard. Got... Let's oh, befriend no. them and add them to our roster and make sure they don't eat our horses. They look yeah. like um. They look like a skink. Oh, what? Oh yeah, a, a little bit. Oh. One of those like little triangular lizard guys. Yeah, yeah. it's a skink. Yes. Well, it's like a fat lizard with legs. <laughs> a snake, sorry. Tail. Trying to prevent ourselves from petting the good boy. Uh, next word. Okay. <laughs> yes. Word, word, word. I will use my boss powers um, <gasps> and perform stealth to sneak around them and pluck a flower. Okay. If I can find it. When you do do a stealth, you actually hear the voice of nonstop begonias whispering in your ear. Hey, <gasps> boss, I know that they said not to disturb these guys, but... I think it might be a good idea. Maybe kill a few, bring back their heads, be seem like a strong monster hunter, hmm? No, I think this fits my reputation here pretty well. That actually sounds like you're trying to get me killed. No, I mean, look, look, because look you over are there. a strong warrior, yes? I, I know my strengths. <laughs> are you looking at the same things I'm looking at? I am, and I see a good mount on your wall. I cannot wait for this nonstop becoming this thing to bite us in the ass. So, word, (laughs) since you're doing a stealth, do it at disadvantage now, as nonstop begonias is distracting you and trying to get you to go another reputation route that perhaps you are not looking for. Okay, luckily, with an 18. Oh, it didn't even matter. With an 18, you are able to tune out his voice and follow your path anyway and go and pluck a flower that is right next to one of the bullets sleeping. Oh, I, I thought you'd be more fun after you pulled that shit at the well. Oh, look, I, I do whatever I want. Sometimes it you know, doesn't fall in line with you, and sometimes it does. I don't know why you're having a problem with that now. Mm, we shall see the results of your methods. Okay, that would be ideal. Word, who are you talking to? <laughs> what? Be quiet. Oh, here's a flower. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Next, Buck, your turn. Can I also try to stealth? Uh, I will also try to stealth. To okay, yeah, you can try to stealth. Whoa. Mm-hmm. You stealth over, but you, like, kick over a few rocks. And, and let's I pause. See. 
you pause, and as the rock kind of echoes throughout the cave, all right, the bullets are still asleep. Okay. They have not taken notice of you. You see one shuffling around, and it just kind of like turns in the ground that it's dug in, kind of on its side. You think it's going to get up, but it just plops back down. It's now on its side with two of its side legs just kind of hanging out now. Oh, God. I would like to use the Baldur's Gate 3 method of save scumming to retry. <laughs> Denied. Right, kind of, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, so... I have two things I can do, but I think I'll do the one that costs me less first. Uh, I would like to wild shape into a cat, which has plus four stealth, okay. in contrast to my plus zero stealth. And then I would like to... Uh, try and stealth in and just like bite one of the flowers off at the stem. A lot and just of stealth happening here. All right, cool. Yeah, let's do it. I have an option that, that we can do if that one doesn't work. No, but, yeah, uh, go ahead. So I'll, I guess I'll roll my stealth and we'll just add plus four in Theater of the Mind because I can't yeah, roll yeah, with that. All right. Hang, come on, buddy. Oh, okay, never mind. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> you pluck one and not only do you see it, with that crit, you notice that one of the little bullet cubs is actually holding one of the flowers like right next to it you have Aww. the option to take it if you so wish that's like the equivalent of literally taking candy you from take a baby, him though. flower that feels morally dubious i think i'll just take the one that's closest All right. well done yep Thank you. you have the three flowers and buck has yet another skill challenge where he fails oh. <laughs> and now <laughs> um, I'm not There's, good at uh, there is not actually hitting stuff. One more mm -hmm. skill check that you need to do, and that is to make sure everyone escapes the cave without disturbing the bullets. You have successfully plucked all the flowers and completed the skill challenge to get the flowers, but if you wish to leave the cave without disturbing the bullets, there's one more check you gotta do. Prince. Okay, um What do I want to do? Okay, uh I wanna do something before we leave. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm up in by the crevices. Uh, there's probably not going to be more in the wall. Um, can I just do a straight insight to see if I can see any more? Uh, I would say you know that there's one more. Oh, actually, see any more besides that? Yeah, you can give me an insight. Yeah. And I will say that this will also incite a path for you all to escape without disturbing as well. All right. Yeah. Uh, you look around and. There is another one, kind of in another kind of rocky crevice, similar to the one that Word picked, that's next to the largest bullet, just sleeping. You can hear it snoring just a little bit. And you do have the option to go pick it, but it's going to require another check from one of your companions to get it. Okay, cool. I I guess that would be my turn then, because that was my roll. Okay. And I will leave the choice up to word since you're next in the initiative. Fritz has routed out a path to escape without disturbing the bullets, but they have also spotted another flower if you wish to get it. Oh yeah, flower comes first. Okay. Now this uh, one, I will do... say, is going to require a sleight of hand rather than a yeah. step. All right. Okay, yes. You go, you pluck it, and you see the large bullet next to you open its mouth wide right in front of you, and it sneezes. Poof, and you're covered As it in does snot. That. Ugh. But you Can have I... the flower. Okay. What's up? A small part of me wants to launch a tummy bomb into its open mouth. Whoa! No! Because that would just pop one of them. The ecosystem! <laughs> There's like six here. You know what? <laughs> do you want, want to, to work? It. No. Because <laughs> when I had mine and it burst in my stomach, it wasn't loud, was it? I just almost died. Yeah, it was very muffled, <laughs> yes. Okay. And th there's also some metagame odds that this could just not do any damage and instead increase its constitution. <laughs> What does it need to roll again? It has to roll a 20? A, a 20 on a we con are, save. We're right. being so stealthful. Why would we do this? We found because a route. Because it's in to... character. Ah. I've got a begonia on my back. No. Uh, do you yeah. toss an egg in Let there? Let me puck one in there and just see if this thing goes limp. Okay. 
And how much damage does it do if it fails? Uh, that much. Uh, 10d6, okay. Yeah, two of them. Maybe know. some of them were crits? Uh, one of them is a one, that's probably why. The first one, like, that was a crit, was a crit. Okay. <laughs> why are you... You throw <laughs> the egg into its mouth as it's uh, sniffing, uh, like, opening to sneeze. And it mm. whoop, closes it. And the egg goes... Inside, you see some smoke escape its nostrils, and it screams out in agony. And it has awoken itself as well as all the other bullets around it. And now the skill challenge has ta changed to escaping and or fighting the bullets. Oh, word. I thought it was gonna eat me. Oh, what do you do that for? Ah! You see it. It was screaming back. at me. <laughs> and now the bullets are awake. And now the skill challenge is to escape without getting hurt or killing the bullets. Uh, that looks to the initiative, actually. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, can I use athletics to pick up my god king word and run? And run? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we. I don't want to. I mean, they're they're all awake now, right? They are pretty much all awake or waking up. This, uh, yeah, I will say it's a surprise round, so their first round will be skipped. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'd like to run. Okay, you pick up word and let's see that athletics. See if you're able to make it out. Ah, Ooh, you I'm pick them real up bad, and you just like bash into one, and you you think you can just like walk over one, but your step is not quite tall enough. You trip over it. It's, you're not strong enough to push it out of the way, even though this one is a pup. Oh, boy. I will say with <laughs> two more <laughs> failures, me, I'll say with two more failures, regardless if it's the bullet's turn or not, combat will begin. <sighs> okay. The bullet's turn, it's a surprise round, so they don't do anything. Lay rock. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, this is Come theater on, of the mind stuff, but, like, how far are we from the, like, the entrance to the cave to get back out the way we came? I would say about 30 feet. Like Okay. Um. Oh, uh, it's so easy to just straight up run, which I should probably do, to be completely honest, and then I can do whatever we need to after that. Um, yeah, Cat has a base movement speed of 40 and climb 30, uh, can I just book it? <laughs> yeah, you can. Like up the wall and I, out. <laughs> I would say if you just take a disengage action, um, yeah, to like leave just by yourself, that is an not an and not a success, but it means that you are not going to be a part of this. Okay. Well, I do still have spells I can cast into the cave if need be. That is true. Uh, so I, I I'm say... perfectly fine to disengage from the giant clusterfuck yeah. of land sharks. It will mean that you are not in danger of whatever may potentially happen in there. Great. Then let's book it. All right, you book it out of I the cave. I am currently tiny. All right. Like, <laughs> this cat what am I supposed to do? With a flower in its mouth just bouncing and bounding away from the bullets as they are all waking up and yawning. Fritz, your turn. Uh, just to double check, we have the three... Um... Three adults, three pups. Well, we have the three. Oh, sorry, you do flowers. have the three flowers, yes. Sick. Um, word. word do you have any? Word has do an you extra actually want? Well. Do you actually want to fight this word? No, I made a mistake. I thought it was gonna. Okay. Kill me. Um, can I grab word and fly? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Take I me. would say an athletics from you as well. Uh, this is like a trade-off too. <laughs> oh my oh, god. No. Oh. You grab word, him. Why are you so heavy? <laughs> so drop me. He's a slippery boy. <laughs> grab my him pockets up. full of rocks. Not realizing that he was still grabbed by Buck, who like tripped over <laughs> a bullet and still thought that he was carrying word. So now you're just a conga oh. line of grabbing and pulling word in two different directions. That is Jesus, let go, Buck! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just... Uh, oh. One more failure, and the bullets will attack. Guys, guys. 
<laughs> Word. Guys. I Don't say guys. As if it was, it was, it's, it's not guys that did this, all right? I think there's what? one There's one guy who did it. I don't know what you're talking about. I think everything All of the sudden, the, the losing of the cart doesn't feel scenario. so bad, I think. I think Buck is owed an apology. I might try and just do another stealth check to like pop myself out of their grips and just scurry away yes. from the one that's angry at me. You may. Okay. All right, yep, that's gonna be a success. Well done. Phew. Word, you are outside of the cave. I'll keep you in the initiative just in case if there's still things inside of the cave that you wanna do or help out your companions. That is one more success. There's only two targets or intruders in the cave now for the bullets. One Good more, job, you guys. I'll leave it to you. One more success, you and they ask. potentially may see you as no longer a threat and leave you be to leave their territory. Buck. It all comes Joe, down to you. I, I, that stinks. I have in my <laughs> inventory a potion of spider claw. Ah. Um, can I drink that to more easily escape from the situation? Because now I, I can't. I'm the only one who can't fly in the in this area with all these horrifying ground monsters. I would say yes, <laughs> and if you do drink it, it will be an auto success. It will give you enough maneuverability to climb where the bullets cannot reach. I would like to do that. Then. All right, you chug down your potion. You walk up on the walls to escape the bullets that are yelling and yawing, and you escape the cave. The only one left is Fritz, as they are just kind of holding their territory and giving intimidating cries, as I assume you also leave the cave as well. They're just trying to scare you off. Crying because I didn't get to pet one. <laughs> and that will be the skill challenge over. Oh. You escape the cave and have four uh, ringing lilies. Well done. Yay. And uh, you valiantly can survive. <laughs> you can see that uh, Eduardo just goes and pats you way too hard on the back. Word to, that it almost throws you off. He slaps you on the back. <laughs> that was incredibly reckless. <laughs> oh, I'm going to like you. Thank you. I like you too. Friend. Spits out another tummy bomb somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, and we got some extra. Huh? Yeah. I don't know what to do with it. Maybe we get paid more. Ah, you can <laughs> keep that one for yourself. It's a very valuable plant. It's very valuable, I should know. Mm. Mm. All right. But uh, yeah, let's go back to the town and give that to good old Iker, eh? Sounds good. So add that let's to do the it. Positions. What's mm. the name of it? Uh, Ringing Lily? Ringing Lily, yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. So on the way back, you can see Eduardo just like laughing and... and just recalling everything that happened. Uh, and then you went you went to go fly. You tried to grab the little guy, and then he was like, oh, no, I'm stuck on the bugbear. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Oh, <laughs> you, are just, you are going to fit into this town very, very nicely. Mm. Thank you. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to get paid. So Dream. you get, you come all this way, you come, you you agree to some money, huh? You need money. What do you need money for, huh? Money buys lots of things, and usually when you get money, you get reputation along with it. Ah, oh, that is true. That is true. But what you buy tells a bigger story than you could, huh? What what do you plan on spending? That's a really good question. <laughs> usually, when I spend money, these things just kind of come to me. And I realized that's a thing I have to have. Oh, you want the world to come easy to you, huh? Want it in the palm of your hand, huh? Yes. Uh, big that. dreamer, this one. Big dreams. <laughs> like, word kind of gets put in his head by this guy. He's, like, overthinking. <laughs> <laughs> what is it even? Well, tell for? you what, little guy, I can tell you're very reckless and you want to get those dreams. I tell you, get those dreams, huh? You run to them. You see them at the end of the cave. You run after them. Don't let anything stop you, huh? Don't let anything put you in your place, because your place is at the top, huh? I know. Word ain't no quitter. You're not and a quitter. You. God King Word is no quitter. And subordinate. <laughs> oh, shoot. What's his name? Ed, Ed, oh, come on. Come Eduardo. On. Eduardo. Eduardo. Nothing stops him neither. Oh, yeah. Nothing to stop me. We, we good pals. Yeah, we good 
I do like a tiny little kobold flex. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. That's on my boss. <laughs> Is it even visible That's my the Eduardo. Coat? <laughs> I just do like the hold up the hand, like pat oh. the muscle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also word. Uh, I, I don't know if I said, um, did I say already? When you throw the egg into the bullet, you do feel mm. a little bit of joyous fizziness in your brain and okay. a little bit of whispering, yes. <laughs> and you gained an inspiration for that. Urge. Oh, I no. I already have one. Oh, oh you already boy. have one? Uh, we're going to go yeah. the Baldur's Gate route, and you're, we're going to stack inspirations. Okay. You're going to get cool. another one. You're going to have two. I don't know where you can Thank mark you. that because it's not on the character sheet, but I'm, uh, we're going to try that rule out, see how it works out. Um, cool. Kay. Yeah. I'm going to just put it in my inventory, potion of inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> for following through with your little companions. Uh, wishes, <laughs> or at least attempting your inspired the evil little evil little creature, that dark urge of mine. <laughs> the dark urge. <sighs> um. Oh, never mind. I thought I had something, but I don't. Okay. He do We don't. <laughs> we, we're still pretending like we don't know who this guy is. <laughs> okay. Yes, of course. So yes, it's he leads polite. you back to the town, back to Tigamura, and you go into the healer's hut, and he busts open the door and yells, oh, we did it! <laughs> and Iker, just like... <laughs> just that's his face. <laughs> yep. Yes, I'm sure you did. Yeah, look look at my new companions. Ah, and the newbies into the town, they got you your flower. And he just... Iker just sighs and I told you how dangerous that cave was, and you still went in. Worse yet, you fooled these poor travelers into... <sighs> we weren't fooled. We were heroic. We almost... Uh, we got your flower. Well, thank you. And thank you on, for keeping an eye on Eduardo for me. And Eduardo just looks back. What? What? <laughs> oh, you spoiled the surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but Buck, what's he talking about? I, um, I don't know. Should we have known you, Eduardo, or? <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's, uh, sorry, I just, I don't mean that. Sorry about that. I'll explain later. But hey, hey, Iker, come on. I, I, I thought that this would be good for me to do this for you, you know? And uh, Iker just like, ah. Uh, Really, it's just, I told you how dangerous the cave was, and you still went in, and you did the same bits that you always do. Don't you ever get new material? And it seems like you value his safety a lot. I, <laughs> yes, of course, I would like my spouse to come home alive. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, yeah, you cheated me again. I didn't know any of it. Eduardo's like, oh, what? Do you think I'm a, I'm a unoriginal? A completely you barren of ideas, yes. <laughs> hey, but uh, at the very least, a happy anniversary, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and he goes up you to guys. him and gives, just are grabs even his, magical? <laughs> grabs his, like, cheek and just, Mwah! and, like, Iker just, like, pushes him off. Do not talk to me right now. I'm very busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is incredible. I love this dynamic. <laughs> and he, he starts Tired, to... <laughs> nerdy boyfriend, over-exaggerated, buff boyfriend. Still in cat mode, but just just mesmerized by what the hell is happening in this house. <laughs> and uh, I, Eduardo just kind of backs out of the door. Uh, okay, I'll meet you outside, uh, new adventurers. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of an explanation, but uh, give him the flowers. He's, he's a good man, this one. Good man. Yes. <laughs> Courtesy of word and to a much lesser degree, non-stop begonia. And I give him the one flower. Okay. <laughs> I, that like, Iker that, just that... takes the flower and buries his face into the other his other hand. <laughs> oh, why couldn't he just wait? <laughs> well, thank you, travelers, for humoring my husband in his unorthodox methods. This flower is indeed going to be very helpful. I put the flower down on the desk and then I push it off of the desk. Chat. <laughs> it is actually I can't match like, make for dozing. It is magical, right? Yes, indeed, it, it is. Okay. Yes. That's okay. Good. And I walk away with my other one in my pocket. Mm. 
Um, the, the, there's a matter of the, um, <clears throat> uh, payment that we were promised. I turn right back around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I've got it. And he whisks his hand around and conjures out a pouch that, boom, falls into his hand, hands it over. All it counts it for. I'll split 100, I'll give 125 gold out to all of us, so we all have 125. Because yes. it's 500, right? It is indeed. Yep. You yes. are 125 richer each. Delicious. Well, um... It was nice meeting you and your husband. Uh, we'll be in town for just a, uh, for maybe a little bit longer. So, yes. we'll see you around. Uh, thank you, and sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was fun. All is forgiven, in the name of love. And word like backs out of the door, <laughs> like doing a little bow. He just, just like takes a hand. He nods and like, kind of massages his forehead. Oh, why did it have to be him? <laughs> <laughs> this is like Legolas and Gimli post 40 years of marriage at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, don't want to bother you anymore. Uh, here, 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 Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> Pretends like, not to look. I have like a piece of string. I'll try and like get Lyra to go outside. Like jumps <laughs> off the table and then walks towards you and then sort of like just makes a wide curve around and goes to a different corner instead. <laughs> no, no, come here. <laughs> We're leaving. So yes, oh God, you sorry. exit out of the healer's hut and you can see that uh, Eduardo is just kind of dancing in place, just kind of twirling around. He's like, hey, thank you for helping me with my boy. Uh, uh, sorry about the deception. Uh, th this was a test. Uh, this town is my baby, you know, and I like to know what kind of folk come to stay here. Best way to know is to see they uh, go, how they go about the solving the problems. Eh? Honestly, you have a pretty good baby. I'm jealous of your child. Uh, like looking around many at the would. town. <laughs> did, did we pass the test? I mean, test for what? Uh, exactly? Just to see what you were like, uh, you know? Uh, even if uh, those bullets, uh, they're not the, all the bullets in, in the place, uh, they're, they're still fairly important, but mostly, I wanted to see what you do, thinking that they're super important, you know? A loss of life is a loss of life, and it showed me, uh, it showed me how big or little of a deal that is for you, you know? If the circumstances of their importance matters to you. Oh, I like this guy. Well, uh, And yeah. hey, you know, I am impressed. Even with that little that little shit you pulled, you know? Sometimes <laughs> mistakes happen, and I like to think that Satyans are good people with good reason behind their choices. And besides, you have plenty of chances to prove yourself, eh? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. At least for me, I think you're all right. Well, it was Good work, a team. It, 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 right. It's it's nice to meet you. I mean, obviously, you understand we're the pilgrims now, so it's it's nice to meet the, I guess, the unofficial leader or the official leader, maybe, of this town. Yeah, something like that. I, I just a run of the adventurers guild, but uh, yeah, I, I do feel like I got a little bit of hand in the in the founding this place. Yeah. Who but did uh, yeah, the yeah. Place. Sorry, I, I take too much of your time. You can, uh, you can go to the inn, uh, rest up, uh, have a drink, and enjoy. And welcome to Tegamura. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good work, team. <laughs> well, you, maybe, maybe we go to the uh, the tavern then. I mean, we got it. Is there anything else you guys want to look at, look at while we're here? Or? Actually, uh, now that I have money, I might pick up that scimitar yeah, skill I that also, they had at the weapon yeah. shop. Mm, um, yeah, I would like to get the mate, the mall. Yes. You may purchase Eek. what you so wish at the blacksmith or the alchemist. Here, I can show you the alchemist shop because that one is open. Oh, did I not? Oh, yes, here we go. The, al uh, the uh, alchemy shop is actually run by a... A very well-groomed dwarvish woman who is w wearing very heavy makeup, and she seems as though she's trying to present, make herself presentable as a shopkeep, mm. um, and has some nice braids in her beard, and uh, she talks very flirtily, we'll say, <laughs> at whoever enters in. Mm. Ooh. Me first. <laughs> <laughs> And whoever comes up, she kind of like bats eyes and, hello, what can I do for you? <laughs> depends on what you're offering. Oh, oh well, boy. depends on what you're bringing in. Resources outside the town are always welcome inside. Ooh. If you're talking bad items, let me show you this. And I put the construct's heart on the table. Oh, 
Ooh, what's this then? This can be used to power any sort of automaton you need. Hmm, is that a soul? Mind if I take it a look? It the great beast. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, she... It, <laughs> he's, like, crossing his fingers. She doesn't, like, pull out one of those magnifying glass things. Unfortunately, she does. In fact, she pulls out uh, a wand uh, and kind of waves it all over around. Oh, darling, I'm disappointed. <laughs> oh, this is just what a is typical construct heart. What are you trying to swindle thing. me? No, I actually didn't fully know that. I didn't know how weak it was. Give me what a does that wand do? Give me a deception oh, check. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, womp. Hmm. Oh, it's a common mistake. No worries. Uh, this one helps me identify artifacts, and it helps me make sure that they are in good condition, or they're exactly what the person says they are, at least in quality. All right. Can you tell me what this does? And I put a tummy bomb up. Oh, she waves the wand around. Oh, this is a mighty fine egg. Where'd you find this? I grew it myself. And then he, like, blushes for a moment after things. She, her <laughs> eyes go wide, kind of looks you up and down. Hmm. She strokes her beard a little bit. Well. That's not where my body's at now, but for you, it could be. <laughs> what? Well, huh? I'm always looking for more reason to travel. <laughs> but this anyway, is back complicated. to business. Yeah, tell me what this does, please. <laughs> She explains exactly what it does in terms of the rule set, uh, so that word <laughs> knows what it does now. Word and just turns around with like a soy face, like. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> this can make me stronger. Oh no, no. <laughs> now I will say I'm I'm not exactly skilled enough in alchemical <laughs> brewing. I get most of mine as imports from Treveseta. But if you find a particularly skilled brew master, they could probably extract whatever's in those eggs to make a more potent tonic. So you don't have to worry about the whole exploding bit. I would love that. <laughs> mm. I do know a few folks over in Treveseta. Uh, if you no, go to boy. the Tejero Alchemy uh, Company, they've got a factory. You could probably find someone for, a, uh, uh, I'll admit, a pretty large fee for that. But you could do it. And if you patent it, you could make a pretty penny off of it. I appreciate the input. That actually means a lot. Aye. And that is on my docket in the hellscape that is Trevisetta. <laughs> oh, it's not so bad. I learned a thing or two. Oh, that man, Mr. Tejero. Who put him in charge? Hmm. <laughs> That's a damn good question. <laughs> Word like, <laughs> after having thought about nothing for a moment, turns around. Oh, did you guys want to buy like potions or something? <laughs> um, wait. So she can identify stuff, or we could maybe sell stuff to her, maybe. I'd say you can barter with her. Uh, most of these stores don't the... buy generic stuff, but uh, uh, unless it's like things around their like field. So like, you know, uh. The ingredients that were be. presented are could be used in alchemical mixtures. Um, I want to see what she thinks of the flawless magic crystal we got. Oh, she mentions that it's not within her field, as these sort of crystals are not mm. really ones that can be mixed into potions, but okay. a good blacksmith could turn it possibly into something. No one here, though, what because about... no one here is familiar with the Politrios ways of, like, forging. Mm. Mm. I'm really curious what she thinks of the decrepit root. The decrepit Ooh. root. Oh, she waves mm. the wand around and she's like, oh, well, that's odd. If I didn't know any better, the one was trying to tell me that this is a root from the life tree. Oh, you wouldn't have taken this from Coerencia, did you? Me? No, I'm just going to hastily like, <laughs> it's just the dead plant I found. Mm. She just kind of like raises both eyebrows real high. I keep that to myself, Lassie. I'm no snitch, I mean... but I can understand that some ingredients are hard to come by. Just keep I yourself out of trouble, I. Yeah, well, now I know what that is. Can I change that 
it because we didn't know what a decrepit root was before. Now can I change the title of it? You may. You can edit it. Let's go. Good to know because I, I had a suspicion, but I like that it's been confirmed. <laughs> Thank mm. you. I'm going to give her five coin for that as a thanks for just, you know... <laughs> she she takes it and just puts it in like in between her breasts and she just puts a, a finger up to her lips mm -hmm. in a shushing motion. Yeah, the <laughs> silence is not kept; it is brought. <laughs> 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 uh, <like>, Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day like, now. <laughs> Skedaddle. I'm running to Lyra. <laughs> Lyra, where are you? <laughs> half inside, half outside. Pretending not to know which direction I want to go in. I'm gonna like grab you by the shoulders, like spin you away from like the shop direction and be like, you know the route, right? Oh, you're a cat. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, just like, I'm, gonna, I'm holding this cat. It lasts for two hours it. and it's so comfortable. Yeah. Listen, okay. she's like shaking Lyra, this on that. You can, you can still understand me if I remember correctly, I think. Okay, oh, that sounded like an inquisitive meow. Um, just nods. Uh, you know the decrepit root? We, oh, I, I can't remember if you took some, but I took some. Hmm? Yeah, that's a life tree. That was a life tree. I'm like shaking, rapping, like that was a life tree. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, that does confirm some of my suspicions as well. <laughs> I'm carrying around a dead life tree. <laughs> I don't think you understand. This seems very weird as a, 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 a words. <laughs> We're supposed to save the life tree and I'm carrying around a dead one. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just one paw on the forearm, just like a very steady stare. <laughs> Sorry, and I'm gonna put you down because I've been shaking you. Uh, <laughs> Shake it out a little bit. Sorry, uh, I'm I'm gonna give this to you because I feel like you're more responsible than I am. <laughs> I just accidentally showed a dead life tree to someone. I think I'm gonna give it to you. I <laughs> great. <laughs> Awesome, I'll slap that sucker in my inventory. There you go. <laughs> dead root of life tree. Well, is it dead? I don't know. I mean, it's decrepit, so... Well, I would assume yeah. it's dead now, at least. Yeah, yeah dead, decrepit. I, I use the term synonymous. Yeah. Decrepit mm -hmm. as in it's been dead for a long time. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the responsible one hold that. Just in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> Oh wait, yeah, you don't have it. Yeah, you probably. I can you change wanna, back like, and keep yeah. it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna assume that you would do so at some point, but if you want to still stay a cat, we're just gonna pretend. No, I mean it'll wear off after yeah. two hours anyway. It's yeah, just yeah, yeah. it's very I'll, convenient. Like, if you want, I'll like tuck it between. Uh, you're not wearing a collar, are you? Um... No. <laughs> hmm, mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm gonna take my hair bow thing and I wrap it around you like it's a collar and tuck the leaf in so it's hidden. Well, that like, is adorable. Pattern. There you go. Now my hair's all in my face, but it's fine. You can give that back. Give that back to me when you uh, change back. I, you know how much I hate hair in my face. Solemn nod. <laughs> all right, good work, team. I say hair, feathers. It, that being aracocra is confusing. Hair, feathers. <laughs> Whew. Well, that answered some questions and brought up several more. <laughs> can I talk to Eduardo? Um, there, I had a question that I wanted to ask. Yeah, him. you can talk to Eduardo. Because he's just kind of hanging around and just talking with fellow adventurers at the guild now. Yeah, while you guys are doing that at the... Maybe while you guys are doing the um, uh, potion at the potion shop, I can go talk to him real quick. Yes. <laughs> hey, it's my favorite bugbear that I've met in the past few days. Hey, what's up? <sighs> right, it's it's Buck. <laughs> um, the... <laughs> yeah. I, I just wanted to check because there was a, a woman who I saw admiring your board out front, and I don't know if she is part of the Adventurers Guild, I just, I, oh, uh, her name the, is, the one that was uh, yelling at you, Pamiel, eh? she, mm, uh, yeah, I forgot she, you were outside uh, for that, she told mm. us about you, <laughs> ooh, us, she told us about you, who's, who is us that she told about me, uh, a few friends she's made at the Adventurers Guild, you know, she's got her own party now, and, uh, you know, she's, uh, 
Listen, I don't know, I don't know your story, but uh, she's had a lot of healing she's needed to do. Uh -huh. And I, uh -huh. I only met you today, and you seem like a good guy. But uh, uh -huh. she seems to know you in ways that I don't. Right, that would be the case. Um, is her adventuring party? Are they? In town right now, or she? This is like not her chapter of the Adventurers Guild. She's based somewhere else. Oh uh, yeah, or... she moved in. She used to be a, a uh, worker for a Trevisetta guard. She quit. And then she joined yeah, the Adventurers right. Guild. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. And her her adventuring party are they here in town, or is it just uh, a few uh, here and there? They're just arresting up. Some of them are locals. They live in the residential district up uh, north of west. Uh, real, real close. You can see it. It's uh, right beyond the, the fountain. Does she live there as well in the residential district? Uh, she just kind of uh, stays at the, the tavern, you know, just around. Don't Got exactly it. know well, when she sleeps, sir. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. And uh, she's doing well, I assume, for herself. I mean, she's seen in good health. Yeah, she's doing all right. Uh, she works a lot, though. <laughs> Battery runs forever, that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's a yeah, hard worker, uh, uh, harder uh, than any one of us, really. Right, right, right. Um, well, that's all the information that I really needed right now, so I, I hope you have a good um, rest of your day. And your, you said it's your anniversary with your husband, is that Oh, uh, right? yeah, we're going to have a fun night tonight. Uh, <laughs> good, I got a special was... date to plan. We're going to go watch the stars. He loves the stars. Aww. Any well, that's very nice. I'm very happy for you. Um, get, how long have you been uh, married? Uh, let's see now. Uh, oh, since we uh, founded this place, eh? I wanted to move out uh, and, and make a place of my own. About uh, 40 years ago, this place. And then I founded the, this a town. And then he thought I was going to kill myself. So. He put the healer's hut, and then uh, we established a town, more people came, saw business, and then here we are. Boom, man. Eh? Well, it's, um, that's, it's great. It's, it, you, you clearly have done well for yeah. not just your relationship, but the whole town. I mean, it seems good that you've done that. Yeah, he, shry, he, he sighs and shrugs, but he can't help but care about me. Eh? <laughs> oh, we got to keep, keep those close to us, not take advantage of them, yeah? Oh, yeah, I was just thinking that, that it's good to... Uh, yeah. Hey, he mm -hmm. he goes and puts an arm around your shoulder. Hey, let me let me tell you something, eh? My dating life used to be hard, like you, eh? You remind me of me. <laughs> but let me uh -huh. tell you something. It, it comes from deep within, in right here. He smash, he smacks his chest with his fist a little bit. Sometimes it's really hard, but sometimes people are better off without you. Oh. <laughs> uh, right. That. I get that. I get, yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, I get it. I think people are better off without me, too, sometimes, I think. Um, no, 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 I, I, oh, oh, man, oh, common is so hard. No, I mean, you general, you general, like me, I've been there. I had someone I cared about. I hurt them, oh, I hurt I them see. a lot. And I want to fix it, but sometimes the way we fix it is to not be there, because they don't want us. Hmm. Oh, okay, that that's a little bit more encouraging than what I, I thought you were trying to say. And co common can be hard, so I appreciate the advice. Um, I hope I don't want to keep you too long. I imagine you're going to change before this this anniversary date, or this is what you're going to wear to it. Mm, I don't know. Do you think uh, the messy thing, uh, the messy fit is a good? It might uh, give the, the, the right idea. Look at me, I'm a sexy adventurer, huh? I'm not sweaty and scarred up. I, some guys, I some have, guys like that, you know. They they, they I, like the guy who <laughs> who mucks around in the dirt and is all grungy. I I can't speak with too much certainty, but I imagine that just having known you for a very short amount of time, that <laughs> Iker probably lacks you exactly the way that you are now. So just forget I said anything. I wouldn't take my advice. You know what you're doing. I'm the divorced one in the room, so I, I'll I'll. Stand back hey, and just, No, no, you, no, no, you, no, no. Hey, you're, my, you're my buddy now, okay, Buck? You're my buddy? Yeah, and you know what I know buddy, about yeah. failure? Is a failure is a good teacher. What do you think I should mm. do? I, I, 
I really think you're probably just good in, in what you're wearing, but maybe maybe just wash your... The, the outfit's probably fine, but maybe just wash up just a little. He bit. snaps his fingers. There we go. That's a feedback I was looking for. Thank you, Buck. You are good to teach her. I, uh, you're welcome. I'm gonna... I, it was, I'll, maybe I'll see you later uh, d d to this week or uh, before we leave. I before we so. leave, I'll see you... See you then. Because that means the Pam Pamya no no kill you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'll see you later, Buck. All right, I love you. Right, but goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you too. This episode is just relentlessly stopping on Buck. <laughs> I'll leave. I'll leave. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And yeah, you've got the rest of the night to yourself. I presume that you're going to be heading to the inn to call it a day. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, you head into the tavern. And inside, you can see that there's a few people just um, having a drink, having a nice time. Uh, Buck, do you go into the tavern as well? <laughs> yeah, I'll go in the oh, tavern I'm as well, Joe. <laughs> you Lord can see that Pam Yell is sitting at one table, uh. just communing with a few of the locals. When she notices you, she actually doesn't look at you. Like, when you walk in the door and you notice her, she doesn't look your way. Uh, I just, I'll ignore her. Yep, you ignore her, you go, and you can see at the counter there is a... Uh, a very familiar silhouette sitting at the table and a, another familiar silhouette, or rather at the counter, uh, and another familiar silhouette sitting and licking kind of the floor right beside them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it is Jade, and uh, she turns around uh, helmetless as she is drinking something, and she just of kind course. of like, oh shit, uh, you want to do, <laughs> do this now? Is this? No, no. No, 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 so, no, I want drink. Alcohol. All right, all right. Let's have some drinks first. My tab or your tab? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm in good standings with these folk. You can you can t have it on me. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna regret that. <laughs> so I saw that you went out on a little quest. How was it? Largely smooth. Hmm. Unusual. And Eduardo. To say the least. He's fun. Isn't he? Yes. He gives you a lot to think about. Uh, he's a good man, that one. You know, he was a pilgrim as well. Oh, oh. you know what? That really? doesn't surprise me. I, huh. You know, he spends so much time working on this place, he decided to see the rest of the kingdom, see how they're doing, and give his own take on things. He's a very active man when he gets to it. I can't imagine. Is he actually... When he mentioned that he was from uh, past the old country down down south, what's it called? Uh, old Diosia. Beyond Old Diosia, Diosia. yeah, he speaks true. He's... That man is ragged. He can take on monsters while I've even not even decided to take a second glance at. Him. Huh. I don't know how he made it over the border, but I can't imagine Trevisan is quite fond of. Hmm. He never lets it on, but he lost a lot of good folk making it here. Oh. I'd believe it. Well, uh, word goes out. up to the the bar and gets two of whatever Fritz got. <laughs> <laughs> what did Fritz get? I got two shots of whiskey. Nice. So word no, gets so you four. have four. four <laughs> <laughs> whiskey is Fritz's favorite. Yeah. You just drink these straight with nothing. Yeah. Down the hatch. Um, uh, do you need a mixer? I can get you something. No, I got a train <laughs> for them <Okay>. eggs. <laughs> <laughs> what? And he, he starts you know, throwing them back whoop. at his own face. <laughs> All right. Uh, word and Fritz. Make a constitution saving throw. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> It is some strong stuff. Whatever they make here, it is Ooh. potent. And uh, That's word, the taste of adventure. you are dizzied and a little bit off your rocker. You're gonna, whatever checks you make for the next hour are uh, physical checks, whether it be strength, dexterity, or constitution are gonna be at disadvantage. 
Okay. Isn't that similar to how Poisoned works? Similar. Poison is all ability checks, I'm pretty sure. Okay. It's the charisma ones. Okay. Yeah, so this is just all the physical ones. Your mental ones are still fine. For now. Cool. Let me hang out. And Fritz, you're okay. Of course Fritz is. Fritz is a sailor. <laughs> In fact, today takes note of you being able to swig back such a strong drink. You know, I never noticed an hour cocker to hold her liquor so well. I mean, no offense, it's just they're literally lightweight. <laughs> yeah, but when you've grown up at the docks with dwarves and all sorts, you kind of, you have to. <laughs> oh, that's right. You were raised by Dozen. I remember. Yeah. I can't wait to drink with them. It's been so long. <laughs> oh, it's going to be exciting to see some friendly faces again. And it might be a chance to use that teleportation circle to go back home. I'm sure Uncle is a little worried for me. Mm. Much as I'd like to see the rest of Alinthi, he has been looking for some sort of successor to his being a dragon and all, and I just don't know if I can do it. Well, physically, I assume that's a rather binary question. Can you turn into a dragon? Oh, Probably. I've <laughs> cultivated the skill and I've learned the ritual what undergoes gaining the power from Uncle and I've seen him do it many, many times and he's explained it to me many times, but I just don't know if it's in the cards for me mentally. I don't know if I can stay in one place. I've just been traveling. The adventuring life is for me. It always has been. Hmm. How do I stop? That's a has a dragon ever traveled? Well, rarely do they ever. They're, they've got a responsibility. They've got to protect their province from any potential threats. I don't, I just don't know if I could do that. Stay in one place for so long. Then you don't have to. I want to see if word is like quietly vibrating at the whole, oh, the <laughs> dragon wants a successor to become the next dragon. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I was gone for one minute. I'd use the rest of your time. Oh, oh no. That whole thing. So uh, today talking about how um, Elias is looking for a successor, and when you hear this word, actually, nonstop Bogonius huh. speaks in your ear. Oh, that's an opportunity. They're looking for a successor. Perhaps we should apply. Yeah. If we deserve it. And word will throw back another one of his whiskeys. No. Oh, you say this? You're on your fifth. You say this, yeah, say and nonstop Bogonius, like, shouts in your ear, if. <laughs> what do you mean if I don't know there's just some stuff I gotta think about and you are definitely not helping <sighs> mm. perhaps you're not as ambitious as I initially presumed I'll leave you to your thoughts boss good his voice fades Jade continues. I don't know. Would you would you all be able to shackle yourselves down to one spot, knowing that you can never have true freedom? You've got responsibilities. It's I mean responsibilities aren't exactly something that vanish depending on where you are. No, it's quite a change. It could be difficult, but just because you don't have responsibilities doesn't mean that you're free. <sighs> oh, I guess that's true. I'm sure my uncle, square going. I, I guess if my uncle were in trouble, I would absolutely have to go back. I wouldn't be able to stop myself from not going to hell. Well, I'm not entirely sure that there's a dichotomy between freedom and having people you care about. I, I, I'll say this. I mean... We just met, um, and I'm sure that did she know? Did she know um, uh, Eduardo? Did she, she did. Yeah, yeah. Like she, she went on. Him. She mentioned that she it went seems on like she's the, Yeah. Oh yeah, he was a yeah. pilgrimage. Yeah, yeah. Oh okay, with, with him. him. Yeah. He was oh. with him. With that's that's what I was gonna be. Okay. I mean, we met Eduardo. Um, he seems to have a fair amount of responsibility to this place specifically, and that might be. There might not be a person I've met in my lifetime that more exemplifies the values of freedom that I've seen. He seemed pretty free to me. Huh. She just kind of looks down into her mug. 
I guess that's true, isn't it? She slowly, her mouth turns to a smile. But your freedoms will end here, pilgrims. She <gasps> tosses over her cup uh, and El Coco just leaps up and like instinctively grabs it so it doesn't break anything. What a good boy. For you have come to your end. <laughs> and she dons the mask as La Destructora rises again. Whoosh. Scandalous. <laughs> and her hellhound El Coco. All right. <laughs> I gotta take a long uh, rest. That's okay, I don't need to hit her with lightning again. That was a one-time thing. For now, you are strong. in my territory, my town. And I will not be holding back. Although, please do hold back. I, that, that, this time it is just, just uh, you know, dramatic talk. Very well. <laughs> How about is you? It? Yeah. All right. I'm going to need you to roll <laughs> initiative. Pull out her spear. Yeah, boy. Oh she pulls out Wait. another <laughs> shitty spear made of cardboard. My, it's amazing that we didn't notice tie. she had that. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can have your hair tie back. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so, Buck, you're up first, and you can see that there's a commotion going on in the tavern. People are like cheering and oh, la destructora, wah! <laughs> and everyone is kind of taking it in, and you can see just out of the corner of your eye the table where Pam is has not changed. She's still just talking, not even paying attention. Uh, all right. I gotta get her attention. Let's rage. Do you need to get her attention? <laughs> no, I don't need to do that. But, <laughs> but Buck what I need and what I want to do are not the same thing. Sometimes. Let me oh, yeah. let me do my rage. Um, I'll say, I'll do my best to say, this ends now. And then, uh, hold on. I'm trying to find my wild magic table. I think this is how I roll it. Ooh, all right. Ooh, shiny. Nice. Yeah, that'll get our attention. Multicolor <laughs> protective lights. Okay. And my allies get a bonus to AC. Lady Luck has just decided to cover you with disco balls. Disco balls, hell yeah. And uh, as you shine brightly, uh, let me use your passive perception for this. Yep, you notice that uh, your ex-wife, like, she side eyes to see what's going on because it's near unignorable now and she just rolls her eyes shakes her head and just buries herself in her drink whereas her companions are actually kind of enjoying themselves watching you now can I try to throw La Destructora onto her table oh yes oh, you can with an athletics check <laughs> Uh, I do, do I get advantage on when I'm raging? I think you do, uh, right? Or advantage on strength, strength checks. checks. Yeah, I do. That'll be nice. You can do a strength check. Oh, okay. Sorry. I mean, I think it's S I think it's uh, technically athletics counts as that, so I think it would also, but yeah, let me just do that. Yeah, I'm not quite certain because, like, I'll have to look at the rules. What, like, strength check does it yeah. mean skills as well? Some people I say yes, some does, people say no, but I don't no, know. But I'm not so sure. Okay. But yes. Right, well. Let's see. She's going to do a an imposing one. Oh my gosh. You grab her and lift her up and toss her over to the table. <sighs> Boosh! And the the entire tavern cheers. Way! And La Destructora quickly like gets back onto her feet onto the table. Ha! That maneuver will do little to stir me, pilgrims. And then she looks over to the, the, the patrons by her. I'm sorry about your drinks. <laughs> And they're all cheering, except for Pam, who is just, like, cringing. You can see her cringing physically. <laughs> oh, wow. come on. I'm being cool here. All right, I'll end, my, I'll, I'll end my turn. Fritz, your turn. You can see, actually, Fritz, by you, El Coco is in a wide stance. You can see his paws are <gasps> wide, and he is, like, eyeing you and just... Burf. <laughs> I know. I'm be. I don't. I'm gonna get enchanted again. Oh no! I am going to lay on the floor and petting this dog. Oh no! I have been enchanted. Whatever shall I do? And everyone in the tavern's like, "Whoa, yo, El Coco, get her!" 
<laughs> and El Coco just goes over and starts licking your face as you're on the floor. Oh, oh wait, no, oh god, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna end my turn. And everyone's like, kill them, kill them, kill them. <laughs> what? Oh god. Word, your turn. Just kind of offhanded, Word steps down from the table and pulls out his dagger kind of limp-wristedly and is like, I'll save you, Fritz. <laughs> And he's going to cast a sleep on El Coco. Okay. <gasps> oh. Uh, let's. So he pulls out like a little pinch of sand and sprinkles it on him. <laughs> yeah, what is that, a wisdom save? Uh, oh. If he has less than 22 hit points. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, it's not a save. Yeah, he just he yeah. just starts licking and licking and licking, and then he just, and then poof, falls, <laughs> and just his face is on and top of your face, Fritz. <laughs> Words is like, gonna oh. like crouch down and just scratch his neck. <laughs> you, his leg just kind of like starts to stomp, like doing the the leg <laughs> thing that dogs do. Ah. Uh. Next. I wonder what he's dreaming about. La Destructora. You may have taken care of my hellhound companion, but I am still formidable in my own right. Yeah. And she throws a mug uh, back at you, Buck. And it just like right. dings off your head. It doesn't even hurt. This thing is like real light, <laughs> but it does ding off of you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'll pretend like it doesn't hurt. And she just gasps. <gasps> Impossible! No one has been able to withstand the mug of might before. But you gotta that, sell it. That's me. I'm good at withstanding. Uh. And then I'll. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Pam I'm trying, sinks I'm trying into her chair. <laughs> oh no. Lyra. Yes, uh, I would like to dramatically flourish and cast Frostbite on La Destructora and also the drinks at the table she's at so they all get like iced. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I simply think it would be funny. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, yep. All right. Yeah. You blast her with a little beam of ice and just like it frosts a little bit on her cardboard and she grasps at her chest. Oh, no, that you could have grown so strong. Oh. I'm and full of surprises. The uh, You can see the table kind of uh, gets a little bit frosty and you can see, yeah, their uh, drinks get a little bit frozen over just the, the top like layer and people kind of take like their straws and poke them to make little ice cubes. And they're like, hey. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, I will retreat from awesome. now, but this will not be the last you see of me, pilgrims. And she goes over and picks up El Coco, kind of petting him on the head as he's still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Take your hell out. I will curse you, pilgrims. She's whispering as El Coco is within her arms. Oh, of And course. everyone else just kind of like gentle claps and is a little bit quiet. As she slinks out of the tavern, you have defeated El Coco and La Destructora yet again. Yes. And we're going to call Word. the session there. Okay. Yeehaw! Can, can Word go around really quick with his fancy hat and collect uh, payment? Oh, yeah. Show? Okay. Let's actually, yeah. <laughs> let's see. Hold on. Let's see how much people are tipping the performance. All right. You, gay, you get about five gold pieces. It's not a lot. You gay. Okay. You gate. <laughs> you gate. You, you hear the you voice are. of nonstop Begonias. I guess this is fine. <laughs> this is gonna bite us in the ass so hard. Glad I can't I wait for see. final boss fight, big bad evil guy, oh, nonstop man. Begonias. The nonstop Begonias. <laughs> All right, and yeah, that's gonna be session. Uh, big bad evil Begonias. Evil Begonias. <laughs> <laughs>